Good morning, Vietnam. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to bar school. Hope it's uh, hope it's doing okay for you. I've uh, come to the conclusion that as of late, we need a little bit of a we need a little bit of a schooling. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try out some of the strategies that revolve around some of the lesser known mechanics. We're gonna see how that goes. Uh, we're gonna be especially mindful of chat today, answering as many questions as possible and trying to showcase as many interesting little tips and tricks all over the place. I think it should be good fun. Good old fashioned family fun. Bar school is in session. That'll be our announcement for today. And just so it's not confused with the official Bar Academy, which is like a thing that is officially run through the Beyond All Reason channel, I'll call it the Brightworks Bar School. In the, uh, in the official Discord. <laughs> Don't want to step on any toes there. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I haven't, I haven't been to any of the Bar School, um, or what do they call it? Hold on. Academy chat? Yeah, Academy. I think it's Bar Academy is what they call it. Uh, I haven't actually been to any of those, so I don't know precisely how that works. So I don't want to, I don't want to step on any toes by, uh, oh, that's Bright Rocks. Why don't we go Bright Works? There we go. <laughs> Bright Works Bar School is in session. Um, yeah, hopefully that brings in some new bait. We'll see how these folks do. I wanted to play a simple little game today on Erebos Lake because uh, I wanted to test something. I wanted to test the brand new, to me, N button. N as in, hold on, let me get my, my phonetics chat. N as in Niagara. Is that what that is? It's all the way across my room. I have to, hold on. Hold on. I'm getting up. My headphones make it. Uh, I have an extra long cord for exactly this reason, but I don't think they'll make it. Okay, hold on. Taking the headphones off to go grab it. All right, here we are. What does it say? Oh no, November. It is in November. We have Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Fox, Run, Golfer, uh, Hotel, India, Julia, Kilo, Liner, Mike. Oh no, sorry, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, uh, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, and Superman. It used to have that hung right above my desk. I thought it was kind of badass. Then it fell on me. <laughs> <laughs> fell off of its its hanging rack and, and hit me square in the schnoggin. So uh, I had to take it down because I was a little bit... I was a little bit uh, not super duper thrilled about being hit in the head by a falling... Post it's not really a poster. It's like a big, uh, it's like a canvas. It's like a painting almost. It's like a print painting is what it is. Uh, and what does that mean? It means it's heavy <laughs> because it's, it's like the whole frame is made out of wood. Uh, it's horrible. Yeah, the thumbnail was absolutely ripped directly from the Brightworks uh, Discord chat. Bro is not Saul Goodman. <laughs> Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. That's not Saul Goodman's voice, not at all. Not even in the slightest bit is that Saul Goodman's voice. All right, so if I hit N. What is this N thing? I'm not exactly sure. Supposedly the hotkey N does something. There's two things I want to check out real Battle quick. Paused. Um hold on. So control, keyboard, custom. I mean, you can't actually look at them through Battle here. You have to started. look at this, don't you? Yeah. 
So what does it say N does? Give information. I don't see a control for N. Alt keys. Skip to next in queue. So I guess if you're on grid control keys, N skips to next in queue. What about default keys? Do they just not have it? Weird. <laughs> Really, really weird. Anybody see it in here? Skip to next in queue. Well, anyway. Uh, so the other thing I wanted to talk about was auto grouping. Soul Bar Goodman. Yeah, there we go. That works. Hi, I'm Soul. I'm Soul Bar Goodman. I'm gonna be showing you how to cheat your taxes and get out scot free. Tons of extra metal in the bank. Wind speed has been phenomenal today. I can't lie. Default does not have that. Huh. The more you know. I guess that's why I had no idea about it. Totally not warming up for today's, uh, today's game on Erebos Lake here. Send that guy on a mission. And build me one more. Alright, the other thing I wanted to test out today... Were these, uh, these here spy bots. Can you set for auto queue in your opinion, to keep them on, uh, from match to match? Can you set for auto queue in your options to keep them on... Uh, Battle oh, point. you're saying you're the auto groups. I don't know if you can set them to go away. Let's see. Let's take a look here. Uh, hotkeys. Use grid menu. I think it's probably in game or maybe interface. As far as I'm aware, the, the default, uh, yeah, the default way that these work <laughs> that is, uh, is that auto groups auto groups don't uh, disappear between matches so you have to you have to remove or add units to auto groups low power so let's make a bunch of units here and I'll showcase how auto groups work uh, because that was unacceptable that somebody didn't know how auto groups work auto groups are like by far and away the best part of Beyond All Reasons control scheme. Like, they're the thing that defines this game in my mind is so much infinitely better than, like, every other RTS game that there is. Uh, so if you're not using auto groups, I don't know what to tell you. They're so convenient. In fact, I recently picked up the Command & Conquer uh, Collector's Pack or whatever, the one with, like, all of them in it. And it's so frustrating not having auto groups. In fact, I don't think that game even has hotkey groups. But anyways... <laughs> If it does, I haven't gotten to that part in the tutorial yet. Um, also, that game is just straight up R-rated content. I didn't realize it because the last time I played it was like as a kid. Uh, but yeah, that game is just straight up like... I mean, they put it all out there. Let me tell you. They, uh, they, don't, they don't spare anything for the children's eyes. <laughs> Alright, so you might notice that there's a little number one next to all these units. Let me hear get rid of all these actually. So, so you can see, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain the key combos that I'm gonna hit here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it out. So, I have all this bound to my mouse macros, so it's really quick for me to do. Might take a little bit of adjusting to get used to doing this though. Here, let's move everybody over here into a nice square. So when you select a unit, say I want to have Rocketeers, right? It's really useful to have all your Rocketeers in sort of a formation. Oftentimes, the best way to do that is by drag clicking a uh, drag clicking a line, right? We, we're we're all familiar with this, right? Maybe this is the most basic thing that we need to cover. 
If you have a bunch of units selected and you right click and drag, it creates a dot for each unit in your selected composition. You take that dot and you drag it across wherever and each dot will be the position that one of those units will go to. Usually it'll be the, the unit closest to the dot will go to the dot, but sometimes that can be a little bit janky. So you can see I can order all these guys to go into a line like this. Another useful command is if you hit F and then you want to build like a fancy looking formation, you can draw this sort of arrow wall thing that projects like, yeah, kind of a, you know, a wall of forces that you want. And then you can set this somewhere and it'll try and make a square box facing the same direction as that wall. So if we do this a couple of times to get these units oriented properly, there we go. So you can see it makes a little wall of units over here. So you can do this, you can do this either way here. It's kind of tricky to get the hang of how this faces and all that sort of stuff, but that's, you know, that's basically how that works. Now I'm gonna print out a whole bunch of ticks right here just so we can showcase some other stuff. Now, as far as auto groups go, Say, for instance, you have a whole bunch of Rocketeers here. And uh, the Rocketeers are, you know, you, you want to do some battle with them. So you want to keep them in a formation. You want to make sure that all is, all is well. The important thing to know is if you take a any unit, any unit in Beyond Our Reason, and you hit Alt and then a number. So in this case, I'm doing uh, Alt, A, L, T, plus any number. Whoops. So in this case, I'll select this rocket bot and I'll hit Alt plus two. So I'm gonna hit Alt and then also hit two. And you can see the little number appears right there. And then also it shows you in the bottom the, your, your unit groups over here. So this actually shows you everything. There's actually a little thing that shows you how to use all these. So now whenever I hit two, it'll select this rocket bot, right? But also if I take this lab and I start pumping out rocket bots, I'm just sending them over here. You can see that every rocket bot that comes out of this lab gets added to hotkey group two. So now there's two rocket bots here, and eventually there will be three, and then four, and so you can see the the line of rocket bots continues to grow, right? So I I don't even have to. I mean, you can just hit two, and everyone will even get added to your currently selected units. Like that's how powerful auto groups are. So you can see I just have tons and tons of rocket bots coming up, and so my front line continually grows as I in inject more and more rocket bots to it, right? So this is it's very very powerful. Now obviously you can have multiple. Say for instance I want to put my pawns on a different one. And this is often what I do as far as my control scheme goes. I'll put faster, lighter assault units on a one hotkey group, and then I'll put the sort of siege units on another one. So I'll put on my pawns and ticks and whatnot on a different hotkey group, and that way I can kind of micro them around independently, right? And the other thing is you can select between different hotkey groups using shift, the same way that you could select individual units using shift. So say I wanted this rocket bot, and then I also wanted this one, I would hold shift and then left click on this. You can do the same thing with hotkey groups or auto groups. So you just hit one there in this case, to select all my assault units, and then I hold shift and hit two in order to select all my uh, siege units or all my all my hockey group one and all my hockey group two. Now say I also add, for instance, a bunch of maces to the hockey group. Say, I, uh, yeah, I add maces to the hockey group and I'm, you know, doing, doing battle with maces for whatever reason on the front lines out there, risking my life for liberty. And uh, I'm, I'm, you know, doing my thing. Suddenly, it turns out that uh, I don't want maces on this hockey group because, you know, maybe, maybe for instance, these assault units are moving a little faster than my maces can keep up with, so it's not very convenient to keep them in the same group. What you can do is you can select any unit of the unit type that you want to remove from the hockey group, hit Alt, and then tilde. So let me write that out here. Alt plus tilde. It's that little, it's that little squirrely bracket thing. Uh, while selecting no a unit, so I'll hit Alt and then tilde. And you can see it completely removes those units. So now if I hit one, it won't select those maces whatsoever. So that's your basics about auto groups. You can always play around with those. There's also this little, you know, these tooltips down here. So there's, you know, cool, cool stuff you can do with that. You can also uh, just add and remove units. And once I started using auto groups, I stopped using that feature a whole lot more. <laughs> it became kind of like a less important feature to me because auto groups kind of sort everything for you. Um, definitely a little bit lazy to do that, but it is, you know, it is one of the things that Beyond a Reason lets you get away with. Like you can, you can be pretty good at the game and still manage to not have to manage your groups because auto groups will do it pretty much for you. Uh, now the other thing I wanted to test today, this is more for my own testing uh, curiosity here. I hear tell that spy bots can capture. 
which is pretty bazongos. So let's take a look here. I would never do this in a game, but I'm going to just have this guy build solar panels. <laughs> Um, I might do that today, actually. I was show I was I was doing a little testing off camera to try and see if Legion had any any say in uh building a bunch of solar panels, and it turns out you can get away with it because they have so much extra metal production. For liberty, I become addicted to Helldivers too. Yeah, it's difficult to quit. I've seen someone who apparently plays on the Steam Deck with a touchscreen. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah, this is my this this map definitely is my my uh, all the glitters at home. Aircraft spotted. Also, these ticks, not very intelligent. These ticks. I put an easy AI here just so that uh, I would have something to fight against. It looks like the easy AI went air though, which is pretty funny. Not exactly what I was expecting, but it is what it is. Let's get some advanced solars coming up here. So this is another thing that apparently blew some minds. Uh, the fact that you can split tasks between workers. So I'll just showcase this using these advanced solar panels here. So obviously we can all we all know about. You can hit your, your hotkeys to select your building type. You can hold shift and alt in order to build squares of buildings. You can actually hold shift and alt and control to build hollow squares of buildings. Sometimes that's useful for building walls, um, but usually you just want to build squares of buildings. But if you select your building type, and this does get a little, you know, complicated on the keyboard, you hold alt to build a square, and then on top of all that, you also hit the space bar button, and you hold it down and then release left click, you can see it splits the queue between my two workers here, so they're going to start working on these projects independently. Uh, which is great, because it means that now, you know, the, the constructors will jump back and forth between all these. For advanced solar panels, it's not exactly, you know, revolutionary, but I'll show you a better use case here in just a second. We'll just finish this solar panel off, and then we'll move these guys over here. So one use case where this is extremely useful is building construction turrets. So I'll build two rows of these, and you can see it'll kind of split up the build queues right here. Sometimes you have to finagle these to make sure that they do, you know, they do this intelligently. But other than that, you can see it starts up these different uh, queues of construction turrets. And this oftentimes makes this go way quicker, especially on bigger ones where you need, you know, upwards of 20, 30 construction towers all coming up at the same time. Really, really useful. Just have the constructor idly building things over here. All right, let's test this uh, spy bot here. I've heard good things about this spy bot here. So does this have a... It does not have a capture command. Repeat, wait, move. Can it reclaim wall cloaked? No. Okay. That makes sense. For some reason, I thought it might be able to reclaim wall cloaked, but no, it can't. It has to it has to uncloak every time it reclaims, uh, which is fine. But it can reclaim, which is interesting. I wonder if there's a strategy where you try and, like, sneak these into the enemy's base and then, like, reclaim their Aphis or something. <laughs> Seems like it'd be pretty difficult, but you never know. You never know. Might be cool. One of our Mata's superpowers is the butler. Extremely, well, relatively cheap T2 assistant bot. Has a lot of build power for its size and speed, and it can essentially latch on to anything to turn it into a way more powerful constructor. So you can see each one of these is basically a build turret. It's a little bit worse. It's It has 60 less build power than a build turret, but for the fact that you can just mass produce them and send them to, you know, help out anything, they are extremely, extremely valuable, and I would definitely recommend them. 
Uh, let's see, is there any other controls? Anybody have any questions? Oh yeah, you can capture wall cloaked. It's just not, uh, it's just not spy bots. Somebody said spy bots can capture wall cloaked, and that was concerning. <laughs> if that was true, we were going to be in a troubling situation. Because how could I resist? How could I resist going for cloaked capture commands? So what I'm going to build here is called a decoy commander. They're substantially cheaper than regular commanders, coming in at 770 metal per second, as or total, as opposed to the 2,700 metal per second. They are but a shallow husk of a commander, though. They don't, uh, they don't actually have a super powerful D-gun. They do have a mock D-gun, and it does do a little bit of damage, so it's worth knowing, noting that. Yeah, I sure hope Spybots don't get the ability to capture. <laughs> In all honesty, I think that would be absolutely horrifying. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to mass fabricate a bunch of these cloaked commanders. And we're going to send them over here. Love that they have a little bit of build power too, so they can always, they can help out. EMP spiders. Let's give a little demo on these, in case you haven't seen these before. These are called the Weber. They have a little reclaim ability as well as a EMP beam. So if you want to, you can have them disassemble forests, mountains, trees, all sorts of different people. So decoy commanders have a lot of interesting abilities. One of which being, of course, that they can capture just like a regular commander can. Uh, they also have a D-gun. And the D-gun is a little weird because it doesn't actually kill anything. Does a little bit of damage, though. You can see it does still... I mean, against T1 units, it's not crazy. You're not, you know... You're not breaking the bank with that one, but... It's alright. It's alright. Let's tear these solar panels down. Use them as a little bit of metal. Oh, I should probably go over that command I just used. That's a u very useful one. Uh, so you may have seen me select all these for reclaim here, but it didn't select everything for reclaim. Indeed, that becomes useful, especially, for instance, if you're dealing with a bunch of solar or uh, wind turbines like this in a big group. So the way that you do this is, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, a little bit complicated, but I'll show you the secret techniques. So say for instance, you want to reclaim all these wind turbines, right? They're taking up too much space. You don't want them here anymore. Let's get rid of them. Uh, you don't want to go around shift clicking all of them manually. That's going to take forever, especially, I mean, this is, this is not even very many wind turbines. There's, there's certainly situations where you'd have way more wind turbines than this. Maybe you want to reclaim all of this over here. What you do, is first of all, you hit your hotkey to reclaim, which by default is E. I think across all hotkey combos, it's E. Uh, but anyways, you get to this little reclaim uh, selector here, the little triangles. Then you're gonna hold down Alt, and then left click, and then drag a big circle. Now the important part here is that you hover over the wind turbine when you're doing this, so that it only selects the wind turbines. And there you go, you can see it assigns a reclaim command to all the wind turbines, but nothing else in the area here. Now this works on anything, this works on bots, this works on uh, buildings, this works on literally anything uh, you can reclaim in this fashion. You can say I tear, tear down the solar panels here. You can tear down virtually anything using this trick, so be careful, because uh, it's really easy to miss that. Like you're, you know, maybe you intend to tear down your solar panels and you accidentally hover over your, your uh, fusion reactor there and then you accidentally start disassembling your fusion. So just be a little bit careful about that. But as long as you are, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Usually, usually not terribly difficult start up a couple of these so at the very least we can say we're being somewhat energy efficient um, all right let's send these across so this is a little bit of theory crafting on my behalf but uh, I'm gonna try something here we're gonna see if it works I have no idea if it will or not send out the decoy commander squad now, the other thing about decoy commanders, this is another useful tip. When they're cloaked, they don't take nearly as much energy as a regular commander would. So you can see they take eight, uh, sorry, 180 energy per second in order to keep cloaked. Usually a commander, when it's walking, talking, moving around, all that sort of stuff, it takes 1,000 energy a second, which is quite expensive. 
Uh, usually you need a, like a proper T2 economy in order to get that to work. Uh, but not the case with decoy commanders. You can just cloak them around all over the place. Very useful as like a, a bait and switch tactic. Because oftentimes when you're, when you're, you know, sending your, your decoy commanders in, you're kind of using them as like a, a threat. <laughs> you're like, uh, you know, I want to, I want to convince them that there's some sort of looming imminent threat that here that they're going to have to deal with. So now there's all these juicy solar panels. Oh, interestingly, that didn't work on enemy structures. Hmm. Wonder why that is. On enemy structures, it appears that they just eat it all. Beautiful. Love me some Webers. Let's see, are there any other units with interesting control schemes that you need to be aware of? Well, I can think of at least one, and it's the Hound. So one of the things I always talk about, I, I mention this a lot in the cast whenever I see hounds, and it's a little bit of a micro thing. Um, the hound has two different firing modes. It has heavy plasma as well as gauss cannon. So I, I'll just show you both of those. If we just dump fire out here, you, you can do that by hitting A and then left clicking. You can do that with any unit, by the way. You can see it kind of lobs its projectile out, kind of fires it up in a big high trajectory like that. If you switch it to gauss cannon, You'll notice it changes dramatically. There you go. You can see it fires much less of an arc. Just kind of goes straight towards its target there. Still an arcing projectile, but just a whole lot faster. This one is a lot better at hitting moving targets. Things like assault units, that sort of thing. The, uh, the Gauss cannon, sorry, the heavy plasma cannon. Not nearly as good at hitting moving targets, but it does have slightly different uh, attack. So you can see the the uh, info right there. The ballistic ground-to-ground -ground AOE plasma cannon versus the gauss cannon. You can see they have slightly different attack qualities, properties. Uh, but overall, the DPS remains virtually the same. Um, Alright, are our commanders over there yet? All right, we're going to cloak all these. What's the energy cost? It's pretty expensive. <laughs> going to bomb all of them. Luckily, I think we can just repair all these. Come on, get back in the water. There we go. Keep it moving, commanders. Let's build a whole bunch of fighters over here. Other uh, important commands for maybe controlling your unit production here. There's the repeat command, which will... I mean, it's pretty pretty self-explanatory, that one. But it'll just repeat whatever... Uh, whatever you know, units you start producing out, it'll start repeating those is always pretty good and here we go it's time for uh time for a little bit of shenanigans let's give this a try so if we hit the capture command or capture button you've received new units draw a big circle like this Everything moments. will become ours. Excellent. <laughs> so I believe capturing is based on... Uh, yeah, I, I believe capturing is based on you build power. So you can see us capturing like these shuriken, for instance, really, really quickly. You received new units. And I think, I think that's because we have so many of these commanders right here that it goes essentially instantly. Now I want to try and do this. This is a little bit of a sneaky beaky. Let's see if this will work. Oh, it totally works. <laughs> oh, it totally works. You have become mine. <laughs> well, that's an interesting way of winning that one. Very cool. Uh, I definitely have never won against an AI by capturing their commander before, but that is absolutely a hilarious way of winning it. Interesting that that counts as a victory here. Pretty hilarious, if I do say so myself. And I think that just about covers all the basics I wanted to go into. Did you know that carries can hit subs? Elaborate. With its main gun? That's hilarious. 
That's hilarious. So it just like goes into the goes into the ground or it goes like underwater or something. That's bizarre. What on earth? Okay. Uh, I think that's I think I think that's our class. That's our lesson for today. Feel free to review your review your notes. I'm gonna go grab a refresher on the beverage real quick. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I didn't leave the garage door open. Yikes! And uh, I'll be right back in just a minute or two. Hold hands. Keep your uh, AFK buddy with you. ice cokey. Is there water in that cup? Oh, god damn it. I might be having a half water, half coke drink here. Uh, what can I say? That's the bright work special. That's how we're gonna get through. I'm trying to do something to make bars engine faster, but I'm kind of failing. C++ is not my language. C++ was not designed for humans to write. C++ was designed for language models to write. That's why AI are so goddamn good at them. <laughs> it's like, it's it's such a perfectly designed language for a robot to write. And so inhuman. That's why I was like not surprised at all that AI was so goddamn good at writing code. <clears throat> Half the time it breaks anyway, but that's because half the time the code that people write breaks anyway. <laughs> half the internal C++ like, um, not logs, what are they called? The, the internal C++ documentation is like wrong half the time. Or it doesn't work the way you'd expect it to. I don't know, it's really dumb, really dumb. Legion eco structures have no aggro and raptors. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that is definitely a bug. That there would definitely be considered a bug. All right, let's go ahead and host up a game. Whoa. Vanaja got in a split second ahead of everybody else, but my goodness, that was like easily five people joined in this split second right there. My goodness. Things are getting crazy. You know, I was so depressed the other day, guys. Uh, the other day being last night. <laughs> I was so depressed. I saw this comment under one of the videos of uh, somebody Somebody left a comment that said... Um, what did they say? They, they said something along the lines of like, I love this game, but I can't bear with the toxic community. Every, or The last three games I played, I was kicked for being low level and not knowing what I was doing. And I was like, oh, that hurts. That hurts my soul. As somebody who's like dedicated so much of their time to making this game accessible to everybody because I want even the noobs and the, the, the younglings and you know, all the, everybody who's, who wants to play Beyond Our Reason, I want them to all get a chance to play Beyond Our Reason. <sighs> that hurt my soul, man. That hurt my soul deeply. I was so, I was so upset about it. I hope that's not, I hope that's not the the average experience that people have it seems like more and more people i don't know i see i don't know if it's a, a, an echo chamber though because a lot like i see reddit posts complaining about it a lot but i don't know if the people who are complaining on reddit are just the people who are going to complain you know about like losing a match or something like you know it's hard to hard to pin down which frustrations are well you know well well within bounds and which ones are kind of just pie in the sky but that definitely it was so it was such a uh, yeah, it was such a, I don't know, 
such a harmless comment under one of my old YouTube videos that I was like, I, I, it felt genuine. That's what I'm trying to say. It felt genuine and I was deeply, deeply disturbed by that. Lol, try assembly language if you think C++ sucks. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. I don't, yeah, see, assembly is like a weird, uh, assembly, assembly is, is a weird kind of sort of a programming language. I, I think assembly is like kind of what you would do if you were a tech priest in Warhammer 40k. I imagine assembly is kind of what those guys program in and it's sort of like, you know, they don't they don't actually know what works. They just have little like uh, predetermined little bits of data that they will they will use. Right. So they'll so they're like they have like a for loop that counts 10 times and then they have a for loop that counts 12 times and then they have a for loop that counts 23 times. And they don't have like, they don't understand that the for loop, you could just change like, you know, the, the number or whatever, the iterations number. They just, they memorize like, this is the for loop that goes 21 times, the holy number. And this is the for loop that goes 17 times, the evil number. So, you know, like that's, that's how I imagine that that works. Um, and it's very real. I feel like that's exactly how assembly programming works anyways. <laughs> the toxicity is real. I've gotten kick banned because I won't relinquish the position I got to first to a higher level player. Dang. That's pretty brutal, man. That's pretty brutal. I learned Z script for Doom. I don't even know what Z script is. What is that? Is that some sort of like, uh, sounds like a, a, uh, archaic version of Pearl or something. Why not bind for loops to conditions instead of iterations? Sure. You could if you want. Oh, rename the lobby. Good point. Thank you. Uh, rename Brightworks Bar School To be honest, most of the toxic players I've seen are ones of a low OS who don't listen at all. It seems like there's, it seems like there's kind of two different uh, schools of thought, pun I guess intended. Uh, one of them, one of them is the, I I am so high skill in this game that I should be telling you what to do because you are lower skill in this game. And that's just kind of a naive way of thinking. Um, and that's, you know, if that's your argument for life, you're not going to get very far. Or at the very least, you're not going to have many friends wherever you end up getting to. Uh, but <laughs> the other the other way of thinking is like, I'm so bad at this game that I probably shouldn't talk to my teammates or like coordinate with somebody. Which is like kind of a ridiculous thing. Like, objectively speaking, it's a ridiculous thing. Uh, however, it... it, it it's real and it's like yeah you don't feel like disturbing other people so you're just kind of like essentially in an attempt to avoid toxicity of other people like being rude to you you push others away and say like i'm just not going to listen to what you have to say uh, you know on the on the chance that it'll be toxic and in its in and of itself that is a form of toxicity right so you have to be aware of that uh and i think that's what a lot of newer players that don't get what they're doing i think that's what they uh, I think that's what they are feeling. There's a ton of Lua stuff in Bar. You know, it's funny, I actually have a little bit of programming experience in Lua, and the reason for that is Turtlecraft. <laughs> right, most of the noobs I talk to say they have a great time. I think it's just a few who get unlucky. Yeah, see, that's well, that's what I'm talking about, right? It's like, a, there's, there's probably a... a a lot of people that enjoy bar on their first time around and they come back and they play it over and over and then you know four or five games in they encounter some toxicity but there's probably like it's probably just a sign that the game is growing is that like there are gonna be numerically some people who join in on the wrong lobby at the wrong time and then get absolutely hounded for it uh the the truth of the matter is bar has a little bit of a culture to it You use the unholy break function. I don't know. I haven't actually programmed in Lua in ages. I, uh, I, I programmed turtles in Minecraft and I went and looked that up recently because I was kind of curious, like, how that is. Um, and people are absolute mad lads. <laughs> the, the crazy, like, turtle mods you can find are just absurd. One of them I found was, like, self-replicating self turtles. So they would essentially... 
They would essentially, the turtles would, would dig down and try and find all the resources they needed in order to make another turtle. And like literally it would do the whole thing. Like it would go and mine diamonds, it would mine coal, it would mine, you know, whatever else it needed to like keep itself fueled on its adventure. It would find all the resources, it would find wood to make the pickaxe, it would find, you know, all these different resources, iron, it would smelt things. It was absolutely absurd. And I am fumbling my hotkeys, holy. There we go. It was really, really horrifying to see. <laughs> really, really bizarrely horrifying to see. Um, but so epic, like the fact that that's even possible. Turtlecraft is such a, such a, I don't know, such a basic language, but the fact that it can, you know, it, it really doesn't matter. Like regardless of how basic a language is, it just really doesn't matter is kind of the crazy part, at least in my eyes. Code control. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, be there on the double. No, that's not what code control is. Oh, sorry. Thought it was the same thing. <laughs> Am I gonna get YouTube demonetized for Paw Patrol? Probably. You don't want Paw Patrol's lawyers coming after you. Lesson I had to learn the hard way. You're overflowing metal. Yep, 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 yep. That's what they call me. Overflowing metal. See how greed we can get here. Yep, this looks pretty good. I don't think Planyon's happy to see us. <laughs> I think that must have been quite surprising. All right. First things first. Something like that. Ought to work out just fine. Okay. He's got rocket bots already, so I need to get mine out. Add those to hotkey group two, as aforementioned. Commander self destructed. Rocket 
Rocket bots OP. Aircraft spotted. kidding around with the bombers. I get it, guys. I get it. <laughs> not not a big fan. These poor boys spread out. An allied commander has Losing died. too many of them. His commander whenever possible. Transport detected. T2 unit detected. There we go. There we go. All right, we're looking great. Uh, let's grab you. I love rocket bots so much. <laughs> an allied what an epic unit has died. These guys are so good. The strength and surety of the steel. Nice. Alright. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna commit the cardinal sin of Brightworks Gaming. I'm gonna build as many solar panels as I feel like it. Just because I've got You're so much metal. metal. I just do not care. Minutes. Ah, I went for a cheeky T2 transition on the back of it, eh? Interesting. I guess that means I should go T2 as well. Let's 
Let's heal all these guys up and then pull back. Heal all these guys up and then reclaim all these solar panels because I'm about to have way more energy than I need. How's the front line doing? Eh, it could be better. Mib is doing a great job right there. Write your T2. Oh, uh, where? Oh, I see. Beautiful. Beautiful. I will gladly accept that T2. Most graciously. Paying attention? Better be. Not that. I think we need these. I think it's the right option here. <laughs> Blast them from the mountaintops. <laughs> These things are so goofy. I love it. Glad we're repairing the commander. Glad, glad priorities are in order. Well, I really can't see those guys, huh? Ooh, he tried to spy bot me. That's not cool, man. He tried to spy bot me. It's all right, I forgive him actually. Sometimes you gotta try and do things outside the normal. Beyond the average. Where on earth is his army? Oh, there they are. Radar jammer. The hell? <laughs> He's using scuttles? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Shaking my head. I know we're just staring at each other with spy bots right now. <laughs> That's the awkward part, is I, I know we're just like looking at each other with spy bots right here. What's the uh what's the like professional courtesy? Do I do I like say hello or I just don't know.
God damn, the energy costs are killing me right now. Did not realize these were so entirely energy dependent. An allied commander has died. That's enough. We'll see. Very cool. Love to see it. Love a good bombing run. You can definitely consider me a fan. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Oh yeah, we're gonna do one one game join queue, by the way. Or one one game rotation. So if you're playing now, you gotta hop out for the next one. That's how we're gonna do things today. We figured out that worked pretty good last time, and because the queues are getting so spicy and I wanna give everybody a chance to enjoy the game, that's how we're gonna do it. An allied commander has died. Need help mid? Oh yeah, TA Joe is crumbling. An allied commander has died. Guess we better win this pretty quick then. Can't these shoot at those guys? I need even more direct line of sight. <laughs> it's like right there, good fellas. Don't know how much more direct I could be. Quite good. Feeling quite good. Uh, Q, that's the one. These guys fighting. There we go. These guys technically are anti air, which is always fun. I have to become immediately somebody else's problem, though, is the thing here. Not that I'm upset about that. Always more than happy to become somebody else's problem. You're overflowing, Eddie. That makes sense. Who needs it? Ah, his bed's looking pretty good back there. Yeah. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Just barely survived. What a hero. I got his whole force pulled away, Mib. Excellent time. Pretty happy with the way this is going, I would say. We'll just do these guys for now. You're overflowing metal. Overflowing energy too. Or I'm not overflowing energy, that's the problem. We got crazy energy banks. But absolutely no way to spend it. Sorry, crazy metal banks, but absolutely no way to spend it. Kid. How's it going there, meat? Nuclear missile silo detected. Nuclear missile silo detected. I'm sure you want to fight these guys. They are anti here. I'm happy to trade these out for gunships any day of the week. These gunships are their problem solvers, so if we can put them up against any kind of anti-air whatsoever, that's efficient in my book. So these need to be rerouted. Let's have them come down here, 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 something like that. Ought to work, I imagine. Two, three unit detected. Oh yeah, this should... This should start firing into backlines. Oh, a demon. Okay. I wonder what the demon will do against these guys. Interesting. Interesting question. I have no idea. Let's see. Um, yeah, they kind of suck. <laughs> they kind of suck against the demon. That's okay, though. guys all over. In fact, send these guys all over. Ah, uh, there we go. GG. I love this map so much. <laughs> Beyond all reason. You talking about the real guns? Chunky rat? Tune, 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 tune. Yeah, they are pretty awesome. I didn't really eco-scale very hard at all, but, uh, 
you know, that's what you get when your APM is low. <laughs> Wow, did we get all the way up to T3 here? We did. My goodness. Mib really went crazy with it. I was perfectly content spamming out T2 units. Hell, I couldn't even spend my metal on T2 units quick enough. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, we're doing one round rotate. So if you just played, go ahead and rotate into the join, or into the spectator queue. Let me type that out here. We're doing one round rotations so if you just played please kindly hop into the spec queue if you are fast you may get in again just want to type that out in case anybody's in here that's not watching the stream um, yeah, this worked out pretty good. I think this is what I'm going to go with. I've thought about it a little bit, and I think this is what I'm going to go with. Is just, we'll do we'll do one game rotation. So, you can hop in for a game, and then you just hop into the spectator queue. If you're quick about it, usually it means that when you hop into the spectator queue, you get back into the game. Because usually the spectator queue isn't, you know, 16 players long. Sometimes it is. <laughs> We're getting there now. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, it lets everybody get a chance to play the game. Which is, obviously, what we're all about over here. Are we going to see any mass tank? I'm talking like tier 3 tank. Uh, yeah, you're talking about the, uh, you're talking about the carries, huh? We can do a little bit of carries. What map should we play, though, is the question. We kind of, kind of want a backline map if we're going to go for that strategy. Let's see here. Man, there are just so many good maps. It's hard to choose. So hard to choose. Um, this is actually a pretty fun one. Should be pretty interesting. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Flow arrives, game mode equals 16v16. Pretty much that's how that works. We have to take it whenever we can because, uh, of course, I don't actually have permission to do that. So, you know, that's kind of an internal thing. So we got to take that opportunity whenever it's handed over to us. Sort of like the opportunity to commit tax evasion. Don't commit tax evasion. Ah, welcome message. Oh, good good idea, Classic. Thank you. Is that how you set that up? Welcome dash message. Why would they use dash? That doesn't seem right. Did that work? You welcome message set. In one round notation, so if you just played one, please kindly hop into the spec queue. If you're fast, you may get in again. Yeah, that's great. Thanks a ton. Appreciate that. There you go. We're learning new things every day. Uh, while we're waiting in the lobby for people to download, any pressing questions on anybody's mind? Any uh, command questions? Anything that you otherwise would have posted on Reddit that I could just alleviate the, the uh, burning desire to ask? Right here, live on YouTube. Let me know down in the comments section. The chat section? It's kind of both. It's kind of both because when you go rewatch these casts, you can watch the live chat like ticking away as it goes on. But also there's a chat. Uh, sorry, there's al there's also a comment section, which is pretty awesome. Fireworks needs his own mods first. Yeah, true. <laughs> I need uh, I need some Discord mods. Uh, I'm hesitant to say this, but if you've been around the Brightworks a while, if I know you, you'll know if I know you. Uh, feel free to send me a casual DM and ask, uh, about applying to be a mod. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find at least three by the end of the month. Um, uh, that might be a little bit, might be a little bit, uh, ambitious, but I'm trying to find three more mods to help out. Um, Isvad is already a moderator on, uh, on the YouTube stream thing, um, and probably will be a moderator on the Discord channel as well, so, you know, um... Talk to talk to Isbad too. See if see if you get along with him. Are we ready? Okay, I think we're ready. Yeah, bar moderators can do crazy thing. Bright, can we play Hell Divers together at some point? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I was thinking of doing a uh, a Hell Divers live stream at some point, so maybe we could join up for a Hell Divers stream. Um, I think there were some other people that wanted to play Hell Divers too, so that might be fun. Ah, 
map isn't quite even. I'm looking at it. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. What do you delineate as T4? Uh, well. You, you could say that the experimental units are tier 4, like the experimental aircraft factory and all that sort of stuff. But technically it's T3. Uh, and the command of 4 start is exclamation point 4 start, correct? Absolutely. Choose forge and double metal value for fun. Uh, we may play a forge. Forge is pretty fun. Map is even, by the way. Okay. Uh, it, I, it seemed even. It seems, seems like you're pretty much balanced up here. I was gonna say. Yeah, because it's not, it's Please like, it, we have control over location. this northern ramp over here, but they have control over the southern one. So I think it's even, it's just a little bit funky wonky. The automatons are scary. Sound died for 30 seconds? What on earth? What the hell is the key to uh, set an enemy as a priority target so you can retreat units? Uh, so default is T, I believe. Uh, no, default is Y. Hold on, I'm thinking now. <laughs> I'm thinking now, and you have me confused. I think it's Y. Ah, hold on, let me look, let me let me pull up the thing. Yeah, default is Y. Um, and it's set target. And the idea is, uh, yeah, you you can set target on things and they'll prioritize them. Raptors sometime? Uh, maybe. Maybe. We, it's been a while since we've done a good old-fashioned raptor stream, hasn't it? Maybe we should play some raptors sometime. I'm not opposed. No, raptors have T4 units from a technical standpoint. A technical standpoint. So I think when units start to cost over 10,000 metal. Doesn't the Juggernaut cost 26,000? Bright sound kicking out on stream? Oh no. What? What is, uh, is that true? Hold on. Disconnecting my microphone here. Hoping that it works. Testing, one, two. Can you guys hear me? Hope everything is all right. I'm hoping no sound issues. Okay. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a localized issue thing. Hopefully. Hopefully that's all it is. So I practiced a little bit with Legion, kind of figuring out how it works. And uh, what I discovered is that Legion plus solar panels is actually really goaded with the sauce. Because you can get so many of those, uh, so many of those precious, precious metal jewels by building units and sending them out on the field. Makes them quite good, yeah. Go ahead and grab one of these. Can I just build one of these off of a single solar? Wow. Wild. Oh, big old forward lab over there, eh? Uh, abandon that actually. Low power. Oh, the Hades. 
What a powerhouse. <laughs> I love the little goblins. They are so precious. I value them always. Alright, let's go for something a little unconventional here. Detected. Low power. Did so much damage to that poor fool. An allied commander has died. Bearing, please. A couple of blitzes heading through. Oh, always cheeky. Always cheeky. couple of blitzes that just snuck right on by. I'm not super thrilled about that. One of those one of those things, I guess. There we go. Just got to keep on being aggressive. I think eventually we're going to have a fabulous Christmas here. Low power. Caught Shadow sleeping. Caught Shadow sleeping. It's huge. It's huge. Those Janus' sting. Those Janus' do sting. Nice Deegan. You'll pay for that. You'll pay for that, but it was a nice Deegan. Even I've got to admit. Looks 
Actually, here. You're coming home with me. You've received new units. <laughs> oh, and away you go. This feels like a pretty nice push over on this side. Please kill this lightning turret. Oh my goodness. That thing got so much value. <laughs> so much value. It absolutely hurts. A couple more of these. Janus's. Rocket bots were the counter to Janus's, though. Little did you know. Especially medium rocket bots that can actually, you know, survive a hit or two. Pretty good. I appreciate my uh, teammate Old Crow here who's playing with me. Very, very useful. the pressure on over here so that the green commander can't move away. Don't want him to ever feel comfortable moving away from his base. Yeah, we, we forced the all died. in here. That's what these tanks are doing. One last desperate hoorah. It won't matter. Five of those. The base is in ruin. Your your heroes are scattered. Go. Exactly what we were looking for. Shotgunner, which is not, not fabulous. Not the end of the world, but not fabulous. Okay, I think we, I think we just lost that. <laughs> Very cool.
go. Resbots inbound. You two. Build me some stuff over here. We must take the high ground. We must secure it at once. Nice little look at the at the blue base, the main blue base. It's got the rail spiders out by now, which is a little bit of a pain. Rail Spider is definitely difficult. Not the end of the world, but definitely difficult. Let's go ahead and spy bots over here. Uh, that's not a very efficient fight. if any of those get back. I doubt it. But you never know. You never know. Shotgunners are really slow, which makes them quite vulnerable to uh, napalm fire. Which is important to know here. Build your defenses, old crow. The shotgunners are really, really slow. Makes them super especially vulnerable. So are the other bots as well, by the way, I just realized. Like, the spider bots are also extremely slow. Makes them quite vulnerable to the napalm. The napalm is so frustrating, too, because it's just pure damage over time. Nothing you can do about it. You're either taking tremendous damage or you're not. <laughs> Sweet, going for the wraparound. I see it. I see the vision. I see this poor shotgunner. Just has no chance. Just melted. Melted alive. Low power.
trying to min-max min -max the defenses here, but I don't think it's going to work very, very much longer. We just have such a big army, it doesn't really matter. We can just afford to be inefficient. <laughs> we have so much map control. Check out the build power. There we go. There we go. The last bastion holding out. Air is cheating reported. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Beautiful. Beautiful play right there. I don't know what to tell you, man. Those, uh, those rocket bots, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. I know, the unclaimed mexes were wild. Zacruz is writing an interesting balance patch in the official Discord suggestion channel right now. Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, hear the lamentations of their women. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Zach Vasir. Welcome to your enlightenment. All right, reminder, everybody, we're doing one round rotation. So if you just played, hop into the spectator queue. It's well worth noting. I got booted from the lobby right as it let me in. Well, that's weird. Oh, would you like crash or something? Been trying to compliment you in chat. Still learning how things work. Oh, no worries. <laughs> I just have a lot going on. I have a lot of different chats to take a look at, right? I've got, I've got the live chat in YouTube, and then I've got the, uh, I've got the chat here. In uh, actual beyond our reason. But I appreciate it, man. Hope you're having a good day. That's all right. Your first Brightworks game, it's it's almost like an initiation that it has to go terribly. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. Let's find a new map to play on. Uh, how about a how about an old but gold? Oh, apparently I didn't have this downloaded. Must have been an update to it. That's surprising. DSDR is sacred and beyond all reason. I am surprised. When I'm uh, position 18 Q, I like the new rotation rule. Yeah, helps get people in and out here. I appreciate everybody playing along. Is Bright work on Discord now? Uh, I am. I am on Discord. In fact, it should be in the. Uh, it should be in the description section. Description. Description of this stream. Yeah, there we go. Wow, 16 likes. You guys are slacking on me today. My goodness. Uh, yeah, it's in the description section. Uh, I have a link to my Discord, a link to my Twitch, which I don't really use all too often. Uh, I am going to start streaming over on Twitch, though. I'm going to start streaming a playthrough of Command & Conquer Red Alert 3, uh, as well as maybe some of the other Command & Conquer games, just to relive the glory days. So feel free to go follow me over there if you want to hang out and watch some uh, ridiculous Command & Conquer shenanigans. I forgot how over-the-top those things were, as far as, like, all the... Uh, all the cutscenes and everything, my goodness, they are hilarious, dude. The amount of, uh... Well, let's just put it this way. I, I should probably play that game with an eye tracker installed. I bet that would be pretty hilarious. Anyway. <laughs> uh, let's see, I got a whole bunch of other links down here. Yeah, I got the Discord, I got my Twitch. I've got the Bar Pro League Discord, which is run by uh, Barcast TV, good friend of mine. Uh, definitely go check that out if you're interested in the, the 1v1 scene. Yeah, and then I've got the official Beyond a Reason Discord, of course. Uh, those are all the discords I have a link to. Um, I think that's everything. We're up to 25 likes now. Better. Better. I know we can do better. But that's still better. Uh, Silver Clock. I'm gonna ring you once, but you do have to leave your game there, buddy. Lucky for you. We are still waiting on some downloads. Uh, a lot of French players today, huh? Biuk as well as Silver Clock, both coming in from France. UK, US, US, Netherlands, Norway. Wow. People playing from all over the world. Love that about Bar. 
Love the fact that everybody from everywhere all over the place comes in. Space. The final frontier. Wow, I'm one of the few people who actually liked, and I was not expecting that. <laughs> yeah, I'll go naval on this map. I think it'd be great. Is somebody having audio issues? I think it might be... Hear me out here, but I think it might be your uh, your side of the, the, the thing if you're having audio issues. There's a lot of people that are saying that they can still hear me. How's the, uh, how's the download? Planion is playing from unknown. Oh. <laughs> Planion is playing from the nether regions. From the beyond of the beyond. Silver Clock got to rotate. He played last game. Oh. Is that true? Hold on. Rewind. Joop. It's nice that I can just rewind and check right here. Um, I don't believe so. I'm looking at the players here, and I don't see Silver Clock. Yeah, no, Silver Clock's good. All right, let's get it started. The audio is crap, but it's good enough. We aren't here to hear you sing. Is like my audio going through the wrong channel or something? What, what? Why is everyone complaining about the audio? Testing, one, two. Testing, one, two. Hello, Night City, and welcome back to another match of Beyond All Reason. I sure hope you're ready to rumble, because today we've got lots on our plates. Starting in the dry docks of DSDR. Roadworks ahead, I sure hope it does. Brightworks ahead, I sure hope he does. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway. Anyway. I'm gonna spawn on the front here. We'll do a little front lining, see how it goes. I like to play in the back line because it gives me a little more opportunity, right? It gives you a, it gives you a wider opportunity. But there's something to be said for how fun it is to play the front line. Do I have enough metal here to go vehicles? I almost feel like the answer is no. I feel like Planyan can go vehicles, but I really feel like I can't. My bad, right? Too many names in my head. Yeah, no problem. Not blaming you, man. I just didn't recognize him from last game, and I was uh, kind of schwamping through the other team on the last game, so I was pretty pretty on top of who I crushed and who I didn't. <laughs> it's kind of a, it's, it's a little bit of a faith system, like, because of the fact that it's so easy to just, like, for me to check. But, uh, you know, aside from that. Ooh, yeah, a little too late on that one. How many, how many wind turbines? You know what? The answer is zero. Zero wind turbines with that wind speed. Yikes. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try and go vehicles here. I mean, you know. You know how it is. You know how it is. Arm is cheaper wind based. Uh, I want to trust the wind though. I wouldn't trust the wind. Technically, Legion is superior because they can get those advanced metal extractors. What was that, Night Fury? Good old Jamacus. Jamacus going crazy in the chat now. Let's build two of these guys, put them on auto group one. Build as much of this guy as we can. And we walk. Just a 
It's a bad idea to go for those, really. Realistically speaking. Like ships in the night. Guess that means I'm going up against a tan player. Oh, there's his bad. Damn it. Low power. I really can build pretty far back on this one, so I gotta put this first LLT pretty far forward. kite around here. Make sure that Isbad can't step forward on me. Three LLTs is usually more than enough to make sure that you're safe from harassment. Nice catch right there. It's actually a huge catch right there. great. It's not great. Not the end of the world, but it's not great. As long as we get some reclaim there. Oh, it's a trade. Okay, I see. Suddenly our poor green fellow is in quite a lot of trouble. I'm gonna have to try and save him here. Hopefully we can. Low power. These tanks are pretty good. They're just kind of weird. They're, they're very difficult and strange to use. <laughs> oh, come on. Rail guns. Rail guns. Wow, they are so aggressive on the front line, and we are not. Where is our unit support? Holy. Yep, I'm dead. I'm dead if I don't get crazy, crazy help right now. What a bummer. Held this front line so sturdy. How are they reclaiming all this? How is this how is this allowed? Didn't we build like three res I swear we saw three res bots come out here. Just gonna have to retreat, I guess. Not super duper awesome. Let's see if we can recover this Nebulous by killing MVP. Lost. Here. You're overflowing metal. We're just losing the vast majority of our stuff. Died. You received new units. That's nice. Might recover us here, maybe.
Fire, please. Shurikens, thank you. Oh, beautiful air support. Aircraft beautiful. Spotted. Beautiful. You received new units. Shurikens, keep saving the day, please. Much appreciated. I have a medium take somehow. Don't don't even know where that could have come from. Yeah, look how aggressive they're being all over the place. It's just the it's a 6v4 right now. Shuriken are helping a lot though. Shuriken are helping a whole lot. I don't know where I got these medium tanks from, but I am glad I have them. Actually, I can't afford to use the commander right now, so he's got other things to worry about. The thing about the metal extractors is they're so extra valuable right now that we have to keep hold of them, otherwise there's just no way. Why is this guy damaged? What the hell happened? Open up. I hate that these guys try and repair commanders over prioritizing build queues. It's one of those like little interactions that just kind of irks me. Ever so irkingly. At least we have units headed out now. Sucks that we had to lose that front line, though. Would have been really nice to hold. Rogan trucks are quite slow. And they take a really long time to recharge. Still, though, it's not like this is a mediocre army here. We do have to respect it. Add these to hockey group too. Start firing away with them. No, don't go there. Ah, god damn it, I just micro that terribly. Terribly and horrendously. Where are you going, Commander? I need you on the front lines. Oh my god, lock onto the lab. <laughs> Cannot have you doing this with me right now. Snowball is quite egregious. Oh no, there goes all my solar panels. We're dead on the fronts. Ugh, as tragic as that is, we are dead on the fronts. My commander has died. That's my lab. That's a bummer. That's a real bummer right there. Well, 
T2 will save me or I will perish. There is no in-between. Oh, you resbots. You resbots. Get out of here. Metal. Get out of here. Stop it. Stop eating me up. Not cool. Not cool, man. I'm still alive. Don't eat me while I'm living. I need, I need energy shared desperately. Walk. Walk, you bot. T2 unit detected. We are losing on all fronts here. Ah, I hate this kind of game. It's just a slow, crippled demise where we just fall off forever and ever and ever. Ah. Our T2, our, our T2 advantage is not going to be enough to come back from all the metal that they're getting from us right now. Metal extractors are so much more valuable in this that it it doesn't matter. At all. I mean, maybe, like, the killer spy bot connection, it's always possible. There's a, it's always possible. <laughs> so there's always, there's always hope. Just not a lot of it. The metal does me no good. All right, I'm off the front. Time for backline to step up now. Good luck. <laughs> Maybe banishers would have been a good move here, just so that we could use something efficient. Air transport detected. I don't know. Good old fashioned T1. We have a killer T2 army right here from here, Tander. Maybe if we could use it. If Sheldon are the hyper efficiency that we need. So we'll see. That's a good idea. You probably should hand over those pyros. Or just hand over all of it. Let somebody else micro. A lot of free APM lingering around right there. Talking to you, Mir Tander. Persecutor's almost up. That's quite nice. Very least might start shelling away at some of those guys. There we go. Banisher gonna start laying down the hurt too. Banishers are quite good at putting down some serious pain. You've received new units. Thanks. I'll take it. Yeah, this T2 transition just feels like it's a little too late. Nice bait. Good old bait and switch. See, they paid for their T2 transition with all the aggression. We paid for ours by losing the front line. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm no mathematician, but one of those sounds a whole hell of a lot better. Are those Quake, or uh, not Quakers, are those uh, Mauser? I think those are Mauser. Our Mauser. I think I've been playing this game too much when I could start recognizing units just solely based on their projectile. <laughs> feels like, uh, it feels like I've definitely, yeah, I've been uh, playing a little too much beyond all reason. 
Let's, uh, let's learn how to crawl ourselves out of this situation. Stop repairing the commander first and foremost. Yep. Exactly what Fragnarok said. Total psychotic aggression is exactly what we're going for here. The late game economy has come online way, way too late. But that's all right. That's kind of the thing that you have to learn when you play in the Brightworks lobby. It's not a not a given. Not how the match usually works out, anyways. It's nice comp snipe over there. Mauser Sheldon is one hell of a combo. There's the T2 Legion tanks that also go by that. Oh, those, their names have been changed. Lovely. They're called the Gladiator now. They used to be called the Scorpion, which is great because, uh, what? Wait, oh, were those friendly tanks? <laughs> well, anyway, they used to be called the Scorpion, which is a little awkward because there was already a static defense from Armada called the Scorpion. So it didn't really make a lot of sense. So glad to see those got their, uh, their little update they needed. Seven metal per second. A meager economy. A fledgling economy. Here's the scorpion. do we have on the field here? 1850? Yeah, we're gonna need quite a lot more. Maybe what we can do, though, is fly this guy out here. And eat off the battlefield. Use that to pay for things. I don't know what kind of anti-air they have in their midst. Hopefully the answer is not a whole lot. But I doubt it. Yeah, this is nice though. Just kind of cleaning up the battlefield. One battlefield at a time. Oh, nice. <laughs> Transport drops over here. That's cheeky. Giyashi showing us he's still in the game. Medium tanks all over the place. Legion Commanders definitely don't scale to the level that I wish they did. Nothing wrong with Legion Commanders personally. I just, uh, feel like they could do more. Yeah. two bots. Tough to kill. Got some infestors too. Oh no. Not the infester. They're gonna fungal growth me. We've received new units. Yippee! Right click win OP. <laughs> well, I can build heavy defenses now. Cool. I 
think his Legion Commanders lose their Impulse Launcher, but they get a better... They get a, a way better, um... What's that called? A way better Napalm Missile. Ooh, yeah. Down he goes. There goes a hero. Well, we might died. just barely finish Enemy. our solar panel. Your team is down to our its fusion last reactor, commander. rather. Yes. Yes. Yay! <laughs> just in time for it to be brutally annihilated. It's beautiful. GG. GG from me. No re. Scorpion turrets, still pretty badass. Excellent for blasting these guys to hell. The real guns are a problem. I agree with you. The real guns are a problem. Ooh. The kamikaze drones. And the sheer unadulterated swarm. It's like playing raptors all over again. You just don't stop coming, sir. Unlike the raptors, though, you don't get a crazy amount of metal from the reclaim of their corpses. So this is actually a negative feedback loop. As is virtually all defending in this game, actually. By the way. In case you were looking for more spicy tips today. Yeah, no, the red team definitely had some great teamwork. It was lopsided. Say whatever you want, the red team absolutely worked as a team. We definitely did not. I think they had... I think they had all four players contributing on the front line. And I think that's the right move. I think that's uh, absolutely the way you want to play these ones. Otherwise, you find yourself losing on the back. Yeah, okay, so orange was playing, yellow was playing. Yeah, yeah, they, so they had four on the front line, and then they had one eco -er in the middle, which is usually fairly standard, I guess I would say. The northern side was just one fair and square. Nothing you can do about that. Just good old-fashioned aggression. DSDR, man. What a map. <laughs> what a map. I feel like DSDR always upsets people. It upsets me. I don't know why I'm ex acting like I'm excluded from that match. Erebos Lake? Please? Alright. One map uh, rotate. Oh, there we go. One map rotation. So if you just hop in, or you just played, please hop on out. I don't know about anyone else, but I bought every one of my team T2, so I was trying to make the dream work. <laughs> you did. You definitely tried. Water without me, Rip. Yeah, I'm just going to keep alternating on and off the water. <laughs> oh, man, we've got 21 people in the queue already. My goodness. That was my first game. Welcome to the Brightworks, and welcome to Beyond All Reason, says Beyond Food. Are you affiliated with Beyond Beyond Meat products? If so, I have a complaint. Uh, your meat has a lot of sodium in it. And I would like to not have that much sodium when I eat Beyond Meat, Beyond meat products. And also, can we not call it meat? Can we just call it a different name? Can we call it like, uh... Can we call it imitation meat instead of beyond meat? I feel like they do that for crab, right? They call imitation crab just imitation crab. They don't call it beyond crab. <laughs> uh, wait, this is not what I'm looking for. Uh, I wanted to enable... Something, but I can't remember what it was. What is this? Proposed unit reworks. Longer duration EMP that is better suited for stunning specific targets. Mauser and Quaker are reworked to have reduced range and increased speed and increased health to promote more dynamic play in early T2. We'll leave them naturally. This is way too much to put in a tooltip right here. <laughs> way too much. But uh, it sounds interesting. Sounds very... Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Uh, shield type override, deflect everything. There we go. That was, that was what I wanted to do. Can we do liquid glitters? Yeah, we could drive liquid glitters. Not this one, though. 
Not this one. T1 defenses are terrible. Going all front is an easy win button. For sure. For sure. You need those metal extractors so quickly. If you're not grabbing the mexes, you're losing the mexes. And that's not good. Des Nation. Come on, buddy. Come on, Des Nation. Come on now. Ready on up. All right, buddy. You got a five second count here. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Wait, I can do that better. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Was that better? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below. <laughs> I like Beyond Meat, but I prefer Impossible Meat instead. I didn't even know that was a difference. I didn't know. I, I figured they were the exact same product. What is the difference? What is the difference? I want to go for some good old-fashioned aeroplanes. Gonna try my bestest. My bestest in the westest. You want that bust in here? Bust in here. You're a filthy man. Oh, that's a oh, it's a question mark because you've got your screen upside down. I'll take. I think that's even. It's a check mark, man. Why are you why are you playing upside down, friend? <laughs> He likes to be on the left-hand side. It's fine. The laugh of victory. Impossible meat is made from your neighbors. Ah, that makes sense. 120 watching. Bright is getting popular. I know. What is this? Reality TV? I prefer very probable meat. The odds of meat are quite impressive. All right. Everybody ready? Go! The odds of this meat are quite impressive. Improbable meat sounds hilarious. Yeah, you want to see something funny though? 120 viewers. Now watch, it'll drop really quickly. If you say, if you say the viewer count, it drops by like some proportion. I don't know exactly what it is. There we go. We, we lost one. <laughs> Works every time. That's how I thin the crowd. Make sure only the best of the best of the best are here today. No, that's not true. I want more people that are watching. I want more people that are new to the game to watch and enjoy and not have to worry about being judged out of the game. The more people watching, the more I have to read to do my job. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I should just clone is bad for more mods. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. That's such a good idea. Why not play some Cortex? Arc Warden Dota 2 replays official. Sounds very official. Um, I mean, you're not wrong. I could play some Cortex. I'll, I'll be honest. I get so bored of Cortex. I don't I don't I don't really even know how to like it just something about it just doesn't quite work with me. Uh did somebody want to transport? Anyone need 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 trans? Oh, well. <laughs> That's uh the wrong chat, but I guess it works. Roger. <laughs> oh, come on. Build another one. Um, I'm gonna hand one off to Classic here. Anybody that I think is gonna be able to, uh... Oh, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> units. I had a feeling. I think I handed that trance to him before he said it. I'm gonna say I did. Just because I think it sounds cool, or looks cool, or whatever. Got a little issue here. There we 
we go. Make sure those don't cause a problem. And we'll claim our mexes real quick. Just fewer the hell of it. Really wish we would have used our rover to clean that up, but it's fine, I guess. Let me clean that. Okay, we got it. We got it. It took a Aircraft while, but we got spotted. there. <laughs> You're took as long as it metal. takes to build a T1 air constructor, I guess. Which is a damn long time, unfortunately. Low power. Air transport detected. Let's do something like this. Air transport detected. Where at? Oh, Jamaicus is air transport. That air is downright transported. Mib is going to have his work cut out for him. That's all I'm saying. You're overflowing metal. Right, you know what? That is a great start, though. That commander is super, super injured. I don't know what to do about the fact that I am absolutely clinically devoid of energy. I will just continue building T1 solar panels, I suppose. I'm having a bit of a revolution, okay? Having a having a mental revolution. Yeah, sorry. Coming. Fighters, they take one bajillion years in order to get anywhere on this map. Six to ten business days and I'll be with you here. <laughs> the fighters are tremendously slow. Come on, kill it, kill it. No, we got the max, damn it. My bad. I desperately, desperately wanted to save that for my teammate. I did not. Oh, cacophony set up. Okay. Cool. Oh, I can't reach that? Man. Cacophony are so mid. <laughs> Why do I feel like cacophony are just so absurdly mid? I have overflown so much goddamn metal this game. It's because I'm working on Armada as if I was, like, still playing, you know, not 1.5 mexes. Uh, but it really is not how this is working. It's not good. I could use one. Oh, those are Legion planes? Wait. Could have sworn I didn't see Legion planes. Hold on. Tell me this whole time these have been Legion planes. You've received new units. Load this guy up. Load him up here.
T2 unit detected. T1 Legion plates are booty cheeks. Upgrade, you hooligan. Come on, railgun, you can do it. <laughs> uh. So much anti-air on the ground, yeah. They, they built a ton of anti-air because they realized, wait a second, we have T1 Legion up in the air. This is not going to go well. to keep little fighter balls around. I think it tends to work out pretty good. Surely that tech will manifest as an advantage shortly. <laughs> Surely. Ten minute fusion is pretty abysmal, I won't lie. Not impressive. I don't have any air to support this army over here either. Yikes. At least Reed Sweet's doing some cool stuff right now with the commander. Wait, what? What was that? Yeah, pretty sweet. You keep D gun and I'll keep feeding you power. Remember, you can D gun down those gunships. A hero. Oh, go for the go for the labs. Go for the labs. Yeah, nice. Nice. You can even cloak. <laughs> What a hero. He did what he was needed to do. He made the ultimate sacrifice. Why aren't you helping this guy? God dang it. God dang it, Bobby. Finally managed to catch one of your streams. Love your videos. Keep up the good entertainment. Glad you enjoy it. Hardcore for life. Glad you enjoy it. An anti-nuke has been handed over to me. Now that's a team player right there. 
That's a team player recognizing one of the biggest weaknesses of the Brightworks. Being that I never, ever, ever remember my anti-nuke. <laughs> We're about to see just how pathetic the T1 Legion air is. <laughs> It is absolutely peanuts. Obliterated. Oh, come on. Don't fly over their anti air, though. Make a couple of these real quick. Savior. Oh, nice. Yeah, that 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 is quite nice. We need to find the most appropriate usage for this. I think real spiders win against those destroyers. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, real spiders pretty good. They're not not the tankiest unit known to mankind, but they're pretty good. These guys out now. This guy, and then do this. Always good to threaten them with a little bit of EMP bombing. Just to make sure everything is all good. Go oh, cover those guys' retreat. I feel like that's a worthwhile expense of one of those. Oh wait, not that. This. Go ahead and build one of these. Well, I'll build a whole bunch of these, actually. Back. Back, you hooligans. Oh, they have two air. Uh-oh, two air is scary. Everybody needs AA. Everybody needs AA immediately. Trying, man. Trying. Oh, I couldn't get it. I tried. All the bit power drowned. Well, not all of it actually detected. went down, so that's good. Spares me a little bit of embarrassment. Not a lot, but a little bit. Why do I hear? Oh. Ah. 
Well, that'll do it. They definitely had a committed T3 player who knew what they were doing. Get over there, EMP bomber. My goodness. Would you please? Oh, he juked. He juked and jived. Would you? Uh, I, he didn't listen to me. He didn't listen to me. I told him to bomb and he didn't listen to me. This guy. This guy's out of control. Shaking my head. At least this guy's doing something. There we go. Caught two of them. Yeah, seven seconds. They'll be cleaned up. They'll be cleaned up. Let's get this built, guys. This is a great push up here. This is a really great push. Oh, there's destroyers out in the water, though. That's not... That's not really great. Razorbacks over there as well. Get some more of these. Try and manage it all. Please. If you mind. Here. catch everything I was hoping to there, but I think catching one of those Razorbacks is probably pretty good. I got a second one. No, just barely didn't. Damn. Going to go. I will hang around stream, but have a great rest of the stream. Alright, no worries, this bad. No worries whatsoever. Let's see if we can't get a little bit more of these going. Yeah, we'll put some scout planes here. We can't really EMP those. Ooh, Medusa pretty banging though. For sure. Is there no anterior here? No ant here. Okay. Well. Nice push. It's a damn good push over there. Hey, bots. Can't touch those. What? That was a great push right there. I would say definitely very successful. Those guys survived the nuke. God damn. That shield is pretty good, huh? <laughs> I would say that shield they got there is pretty good. 
All right, we're gonna go for a big jump here. As far as uh, as far as tech goes, stop producing for a minute. I feel like I need to just keep fighters forward here. Let's see if these bad boys can't get something done here. I don't really know what's over here, but there are some uh, tanks and whatnot, so maybe if we're extra super quick about it. Uh, come on. Come on. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Only takes a couple volleys. Those, uh, those gunships are pretty powerful, huh? Not bad. I was a little skeptical. I was skeptical of even my own gunships, I won't lie. here. Careful about those starlights bunching up. Oh, that is great, though. Yeah. Nice. You just won yourself that entire lane, I do believe. Very, very nice. Razorbacks have broken through. Razorbacks have absolutely broken through. Glad we capitalized on that. I didn't expect that commander kill to really capital or turn into anything. Uh, looks like I was sorely mistaken. Enemy flagship detected. Oh, nice. Taking out the demon production. That means there's got to be a crazy eco over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a crazy eco. Such a huge snipe right there. Beautiful play. I think it's time. Pull the boys. Pull the boys. Yep, yep, yep. That's a huge problem. Definitely a huge problem. My bad for not having units in place to shut that down immediately. Look preoccupied. It's alright. It's alright. Classic will be our savior here. Uh, okay, well. Yeah, that's my bad, Classic. I didn't have the units in place to stop that. But, uh, for what it's worth... Still a fabulous, fabulous trade. Also don't really have great tools to deal with that that uh, capital ship. I think maybe a bunch of these might work pretty good, though. We'll see. Oh, yeah, I need another Aphis. Submarine's much more efficient, though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna send the gunships up north here. Reserve the EMP bombers a little bit. Send what I can, but just don't know if I have anything. Let's have an anti air weapon, right? Oh, I guess they have a rail gun. It's pretty close. One of the capital ships goes down. There's still a unfathomable amount more. Hey, go. 
Go win. Shut this down before it makes anything else. There we go. I think we win this fight. I think as long as the starlights don't chain react, ugh, super bad. Yeah, good job. disperse the forces around here. We did so much damage to them. There's absolutely no reason why they should be winning this right now. Yep, just keep pushing. I think I think you've won this lane entirely. I think there's no world where we haven't won this lane up on the northern side. Let's go ahead and build some of these scout points here. Just use the commander for it. Commander's pretty cool like that. He's just willing to help out wherever. He's just really chill like that. Commander over there? Ah. Big old fighter pole. the ante or take the brunt of most of that. <laughs> sure, send the fighters. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about your fighters. And that is how you shut down a bombing run. <laughs> the fighters run into the flak, just like that. Well, I am ready this time. So that was pretty well held right there. Yeah, I'm drinking that holds that actually. Probably holds that just fine. Tried to stall this as long as possible, but man, it is uh, not being kind on my EMP bombers, that's for sure. Uh, I don't have enough of them to shut that down anymore. Uh, how do 
Makades do? <laughs> How do they do? I don't know. And one of these fusions over so that there's actually some power. Maybe they'll actually be able to do something then. Oh, the Aphis pulling up took out all my bombers. Oh, no. Anti Ridge. Oh, I couldn't save him. I couldn't save him. He was so young. Alright, we have got to keep ecoing. We want any chance of staying in this fight. We have got to keep ecoing. I like to leave these scout planes lying around all over the place. I feel like it really, really spices things up. has been crippled just as much as we crippled theirs. I can't believe that with their force they still managed to, or with that much ego damage we did, they still managed to come back on all that. Wild. Let's go ahead and spread our fighters around. Throw bombers in ship shape as much as possible anyways. <laughs> Man, those things are good. Yeah, they cut off about 3% of a juggernaut per beam. I hope we self-destruct. I don't think it's going to happen, though. That was a great self D right there. I have nothing more to say about that. That was a brilliant self D. These are going to be needed up here shortly. Although those pulsars are definitely a problem for them. Which is a good thing for us. We like causing the enemy problems. We like causing the enemy multiple problems. So listen, if you're not building anti-air right now, I can't help you. My economy is not strong enough to counteract two different players. Need tons of AA plus. I could transition to AA trucks, I guess. I was really feeling like it. Classic's calm goes down. Hold on, I'll get you some constructors there, Classic. Here you go. Here, hold this. And uh, hold my commander as well. And then... You're overflowing metal. He's over to Classic. Turn these off weight. Gonna 
want some LLTs over here as well. Oh, everybody built their flak. Looks like it. Yeah, flak turrets OP. Man. Teamwork makes the dream work. It's getting tough. It's getting real tough. Yeah, the scouts are nice. See, I can park them anywhere on the map, and then it kind of makes them gives gives us really nice map vision. In fact, I'm actually going to do this. Park them literally everywhere on the map. Already hopped in OBQ. That's funny. our hero right there. Bunch of EMP bombers again. Yep, yep, yep. I see him. I see him. My goodness. The uh, the anti-air is becoming increasingly important now. I need everybody to build a ridiculous amount of flak. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So sorry, there's just only so much I can do. The Razorbacks too, oh no. The airplay is so hard. <laughs> I'm overflowing metal too. All right, GG. Man, we were so close. We had that huge Razorback push. What happened? Ah. We were so, so close. I guess we're not done yet though. No, we're not done yet. I've still got some fight left in me. I'm exhausted, but I've still got some fight left in me. <laughs> we haven't done damage to them in a good long while, so I'm just I'm hoping that we can figure some way to hit them back. This is like transport wave they're building up over there. What on earth? All right, we will officially turn that off. There. 
goes a hero. Put a couple different points down there. Oh boy. All right, here we go. The AA Trucks Incorporated make this very nice. Thinning that fighter wall is all that matters. Come on, everybody. Come fight me. Don't you want to come fight me over here? Yes. Yes, I think you do want to come fight me. Right over all this anti-air. Yes! Yes! It's beautiful! Let's shut this off. Let's shut this off. Let's shut this off for sure if we can. Oh, we can't. It's alright. Big economy over here. That's the primary target. Pop this Geo, pop this Geo, pop this Geo, pop this Geo, pop this Geo. Oh, please kill that Geothermal. Oh, if you don't kill that Geothermal, I'll be so angry. Oh, we're gonna do it. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been waiting for. It's humongous. All right. That's huge. Absolutely huge. The AA trucks are so awesome. <laughs> They're so awesome and so necessary. Should probably spread them around a little bit, but other than that. What was that? Oh no. They snuck a commander. Well, down he goes. Tractor lost. Oh, these were rezzed? Oh no. That always feels horrible. Resistant to EMP too. My goodness. This up. This is very difficult for them to deal with because obviously 
EMP bombers. <laughs> we have the anti air. Doesn't matter that they're attacking me right here because as long as that anti air is there, we are obliterating this. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna attack. Come up in this direction. Oh, yeah. Gotta love anti air trucks. Gotta love them. Absolutely gotta love them. Oh man, we are. Uh, oh, that's a that's a Ragnarok. Well, that's not great. I'll admit. I'll be the first to admit that's not great. Bad news up front. We're about to get rained on, <laughs> and uh, nobody has anything to stop that. This will not be going on for another hour. I can guarantee it. Because I see exactly what they're building. So the air power is so thick here. Long range plasma cannon detected. Catapult up on the high ground, that might work. Hmm. There's some interesting plays to be made here. to cause a whole bunch of friendly fire damage. Don't think it's going to work, though. An allied commander has died. Ah, uh, and there are the Thors. All right. I think we've been beat. Despite a crazy back and forth right here, I think we've been beat. We put up one hell of a fight, though. One absolute monster of a fight. From downtown, boom, goes the Ragnarok. <laughs> oh my god, what a play. That was beautiful. He still got us. He still shot us with the look at it, but that was absolutely hilarious. Oh my goodness. Beautifully played classic. That's so funny. Really, really nicely done. <laughs> uh, what a match. I definitely should have eco-scaled a lot harder. I bet my eco, yeah, I was nowhere near. If I had eco-scaled a whole lot harder, it would have been good. But also, I mean, I don't know. I was so focused on the air. What a tough one. What a tough one. How do you select all fighters at the same time? Good question. You you hit control and then Z. Uh, and, what you know, whatever you're selecting. Ah, flow has arrived. The flow meister. Yeah, whatever you, whatever, whatever you have selected, uh, you go ahead and... Uh, hit control Z and it'll select all of them at the same time. There you go. All right, everybody. Time to rotate. All righty, everyone. Time to rotate if you just played. Thanks.
need to top off the old drinky. The old drinky drink. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's one down. That's one down. Classic made it all the way through again. <laughs> Whoa, and away it goes. Did I mean to throw that across my room? Absolutely not. Did it happen anyway? Absolutely. Hey, thank you, Flo. Much appreciated, my good man. Control W on grid controls. Ah, good to know. Good to know. Is it not working? Did we break the lobby? Happens to the best of them. <laughs> Whoa, player limit 204. 204. Oh no. <laughs> ah, there we go. Yeah, the server has to think a little bit. This one's this one's been a little slow all day today. Ah. Beautiful. One off, says Jamakis. <laughs> ah, that is so tragic. One off from managing to get it all to work. This is teasing. <laughs> Whoa, player limit 30. Okay, guess we're going up to 15. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, while we do that, why don't we change the map a little? Oh, actually, that might break things, so I'll just leave it. I'll, I'll let it sit for a second. Let it stew. One hundred and two versus one hundred and two. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, planes sounds fun. Planes does sound fun. Uh wait, what is that map called? Is it planes? Oh Oh, looks like we lost the lobby. <laughs> We flew too close to the sun, and down the lobby went. Womp, womp, womp. Ah, what a bummer. <laughs> happens to the best of them. Absolutely happens to the best of them. And as foretold, it broke. As it was written. Lisan El Gaib. As it was written. Let's do this one more time. I'm gonna start up a new one. Rename the Bright Works Survivors. Survivors. Holy. We might break the game just by people joining. <laughs> Greenest Fields, that's... Wait, is that the one I'm thinking of? Yes, it is. Greenhaven? Huh. Yeah, Greenest Fields is the map that I was looking for. Thank you. Thank you very much. In other news, we're about to take this server for a ride. I hope you're ready, folks, because we are going to push it to its limits. Hope you're ready, server. One day. One day the server will figure itself out. It's got to think. We got to give it some time to think here. The server has to process all this. There we go. We got it to 20. 20 is pretty good. My whole client crashed. <laughs> some people crashed harder than others. What a bummer. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Dragokin says, might want to let Flo do his thing before touching anything bright. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's exactly my plan. Air player, please build AA. A few minutes later. Dang it. Why did bombers kill my base again? <laughs> to be fair, though, they did build a bunch of those, uh, the AA turrets. The, the Gatling AA turrets, which are awesome, by the way. So cool. Remind me of, like, the old... Uh, you know, like Panzerfaust, 
Uh, or no, wait, that's the rocket launcher, isn't it? It reminds me of the old, uh, the old, like, flak artillery guns with the four different barrels on them. <laughs> that's what that reminds me of. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, that's a big jump. Well, maybe not. Okay, so far, so good. So far, so good. Uh, real nervous. Real nervous. <laughs> uh. Gatling mixed with flak would be god tier. Absolutely. Yeah, that would be absolutely god tier. And I think that's the reason why it isn't. Is because, uh, yeah, it would be absolutely unbeatable otherwise. Oh, we're slowly climbing. Oh my goodness. Flo is taking us to the ceiling. <laughs> I wonder what the plan... Are we, are we, like, aiming for... Are we aiming for a certain number, I wonder? It's funny, because the bigger we make the server, the more people want to join. And so the spectator queue, or the, the join queue, it just never goes down. It just never goes down. Dear Lord. Dear God. Ah. Forty-four. <laughs> oh my goodness. It just keeps going. I don't, I, I think... Well, well, we'll try Greenest Fields, actually. I, th I bet Greenest Fields will work pretty good. Flow abusing the servers. Yeah, what can I say? Is AKU still here, by the way? I wanted to thank our admins for helping us out here. Oh, did we do it? Did we finally get to the end of the spectator queue? After all these years, it finally happened. Nope, never mind. <laughs> uh, player limit of 50. We're all the way up to 25. It'd be it'd be pretty impressive if you didn't get into this one. 50 people total. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are seriously ready. Is this real? Locable guy says, is this real? <laughs> Chat, is this real? Oh no, 26. And that's it. We've ran out of joiners. We did it. <laughs> we just crammed 26 players into a eight, a well, a 16 player box. My goodness. This is, uh, this is wild. Absolutely wild. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna wait for confirmation from Flo. Sprite guy isn't ready. Spec him. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna get confirmation from Flow that we're we're ready. All good. Are we set? I know. I I he, I know the settings aren't there, guys. I'm just making sure that we're all done. See, Flow's still adjusting. Okay, be patient. Be patient. Okay. If you want to play in the biggest game of Beyond All Reason ever known to mankind, you have to be patient. All right. These things don't happen auto magically. It happened because of the help from our lovely developers. Don't worry, don't worry. All right. All right, I think we're good. Should we do a Legion only? That's pretty funny, actually. Oh, no, no, this is not, no. This is not a democracy. Don't do that. Never do that. Legion units. Uh, restrictions. Ranked game off, obviously. Resources. 1.5 metal extraction multiplier. Uh, not that it's going to matter for what we're about to do. Uh, and the other thing, the other thing. Oh, yeah, meme. Dollar sign meme. Uh, dollar sign meme. Leg only. <laughs> this is not a democracy. All right. It's time to go. 
time to go. Yeah, you like that? Stefan Benet. Auto magically. One of my favorites of all time. I'm gonna light a candle in here. I think this calls for it. I stole this blowtorch from a crazy ex-girlfriend, and it is by far and away my favorite lighter fire producer of all time. Oh, this is not the map. Hold on. <laughs> well, you know what? I guess we'll play on this map. We'll do one run on this map, and then we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do the other map as well. Greenest fields. Please choose your starting location. I'll just spawn back here. T3 Kami zone. If you want to help with the T3 lab, you got to hop in this Kami zone. Jump in the Kami zone if you want to help. Okay, here, let's let's do it right here. T3 lab goes here. All right, everybody's in. Go, go, go. Uh, 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 art, there we go. <laughs> oh man. Oh, gotta claim these mexes. They are important. All right, Reed Sweet, you're our guy. Beautiful. <laughs> All of us put our metal in. Uh, uh, there we go. The power of the economy. <laughs> it's beautiful. Upgrade these mechs real quick. Mechs are 1.5x, so it's definitely well worth it. Let's help boost out this uh, constructor real quick. Because that's what heroes do. Start reclaiming this lab. Roll my metal into this. And then continue reclaiming. Front lines better spam like crazy. He's trying to repair. Get him! Jamie, stop your T2. Please, Jamacus, please. 
For the love of liberty. You're overflowing metal. Here we go. Up and running. Send Low all power. the metal to Reet Suite, hopefully. No, I just sent it all to Trotsky, didn't I? <laughs> I just sent all that metal to Trotsky. Uh, can you give metal to Reet Sweet Puss? What are we making? Probably cards. An allied commander or, self or Kurgs. <laughs> Kurgs works too, I guess. Kurgs. Kurgs you. Have any metal to give to the cause. But I think we're doing okay. The four minute T3. Yeah, Legion did get their own solar panels. They're pretty epic. They got their own solar panels and their own wind turbines too. Low it's all power. pretty awesome. Nice. An Go. commander self destructed. Produce. Whoever, no, whoever self de oh yeah, 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 okay. If you self-destruct your commander, you get a Karganeth. <laughs> That's the deal. It's a, it's a, it's a good deal. I guess it's a good deal. It's funny because like, obviously we don't really have the infrastructure to make this T3, but just like sheer force of will will make it happen anyways. <laughs> oh, carries. Ah, that's not a bad idea. I forgot about those. That could definitely work. And over all my metal and energy to read sweet. Has died. You can actually use it. First car gonna have about to hit the field. Might want anti nuke to You've received new units. I have. Oh boy. I'm gonna go to the graveyard. I trade myself in for a T3. T3 nice snipe. Ready. Was just wondering. All right, boys. Now let's cosplay as a T3 unit. <laughs> Turn my slider. I mean, I guess I'm not. I don't have any income anymore, so it's not like it really matters. Hand it all over to Reed Suite. And it's time. Does this thing take energy to fire, by the way? No. Okay. Care for D-Gun. Ooh, be so careful for a D-Gun. Oh, wait, there is no D-Gun. <laughs> ah, that's right. There is no Deegan. We're all Legion. You can be as aggressive with that Karganath as you want. I guess I'll go down south here to try and help out. Feels like the right move. There's to flow. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no D guns means if they didn't rush T3 as well, they're not going to be having a good day. So eight minutes is usually when we see the T2 lab, by the way. <laughs> I just want to point that out here. Usually about the time we see a, a default T2 transition coming out. Please, no metal to me. I can't handle having financial responsibilities. You give me metal and I'll just u waste it on useless things like radars and solar panels. <laughs> they surely went T3, right? Tell me they didn't go for a new crush. That'd be just tragic if they went for a new crush. T2 unit detected. Is that a missile wall? Oh, it is a missile wall. <laughs> These things are pathetic and useless. Uh, if those had a little bit of tracking to them, like even the smallest... Ah, there's a Praetorian. Okay, they do have T3 out. T3 unit detected. If those walls had even the slimmest amount of of uh, tracking to them, they'd be really good. But they don't, so they ain't. I think we T3'd harder than they did. Loco cable guy, what are you gonna do? What are you going to do? D-gun me? Yes. Destroy them. You've received new units. I have. Ooh, okay. I'll take the car died. key. Building defenses. Comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Ah, I gotta love the carries. An allied commander has died. What a powerhouse. I will say that Praetorian is causing us a whole lot of trouble. If the Shiva's gonna shoot us, we might as well make the Shiva shoot itself as well. Ooh, Karganeth coming into the rescue here. Let's pull this guy back. Where's that Karganeth? Oh, he stopped moving. Not ideal. Go. Oh, the Praetorian didn't die. Oh no, it's so low. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do something about it. Uh, ooh. Spooky. Come back here for repairs. Maybe we need some T3 for defense. An allied commander has died. Take all these rail guns out. An Probably. Commander has died. Just let this guy work. There we go. Kill those real quick. I think we're gonna be in a decent spot. Alright. We took down the Praetorian. Res bots are gonna be the name of the game now. He who can res the bots has all the power. Let's kill this comm up here. Stinking up the front lines. Is that a scuttle? It is a scuttle. <laughs> it's pretty Battle funny. Paused. Battle, Battle paused. Oh. It's like, who on earth? Who on earth? Battle paused. Come here, Joshy. Come here, Joshy. It's time for you to meet your maker. Down he goes. Beautiful. I'm gonna send my camera my, uh, what is it called? Carries back to the repair spa. Can 
Yes. Glory to the red team. <laughs> ah, the T3 rush has worked phenomenally. Who knew? Pumping out those T3 units. Extremely, extremely powerful. And also, my goodness, the carries are strong. When you don't have D-guns to blast anything away, it really, really changes things. It really changes things, because you have to have those, those T3 out. My goodness, look at the economy right here. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I love to see it. All right, let's do the, whoops, let's do the map that I meant to do here. There we go. Now this should be a spicy one. Thirty, thirty, three, thirty-ish fusion is OP for sure, for sure. <laughs> Nobody's arguing against that. The three thirty fusion is pretty OP. I couldn't either, Dinks. I couldn't either. I don't know why. Yeah, the hero Karganath with about fifty-six com kills. I agree. <laughs> that Karganath took out just about their entire team. Added attack delay? No. Otherwise, it's going to be stale. In fact, what I'm going to do here is increase this box a little bit. Not that I think many people are going to spawn on the front line, but those rare few that do choose to spawn on the front line. Player limit of 60. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen. What was the record again? I believe the record was 31 versus 31. Correct me if I'm wrong. What was the record again, Flo? I think it was, uh, I think it was, was it 31 or 32? Sixty-two, so that'd be thirty-one. We're getting close. We are getting damned close. Ring everybody up. Thirty-two on Adamantum Factory with you. You know it. That's how we like to roll it. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. All right, I'm gonna give a countdown of five seconds, and after that, I'm gonna start spectating. Five, four, three, two, one. Womp. And womp. You gave it your best shot, fellas. You gave it your best shot. Classic rolled for a number between 1 and 129, and they got 90. Yeah, we're still doing Legion only. You may have been here, but you didn't ready up. Force Spectator. Come on. Anybody who doesn't ready up immediately gets sent to the Shadow Realms. All right, here we go. Everybody, everybody ready? Everybody ready? Uh, go. Inconsistent team ID? No. No. Oh, there we go. Hold on. It's just got to balance, I think. Surely. 32 versus 32. We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I've been waiting for. Setting a new world record. I think I specced you like an hour ago, and then it finally kicked in. Sorry about that, Jet Maestro. Sorry about that. That was a, uh, that was, that was a lobby issue. That's all right. You'll get in the next one. You'll get in the next one. That was a uh, that was a that was a tricky lobby. You can tell the more players join uh, and the more players are in the lobby, the slower the lobby has time to respond. <laughs> this is a big lobby, despite my assets. You could say that. If I'm not mistaken, it's the biggest ever. I think, I think very well this may be the biggest match beyond all reason. Biggest ever was 31, I believe. Starting location. <laughs> we start with 31,000 metal, that's true. 
Still a queue. Yeah, true. <laughs> Everybody in the queue still. All right. Let's, oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's do, uh, communism corner. <clears throat> Who's going to be the leader? Who's going to be the leader? Is it Commander Riker? Commander Riker's just right in the middle. T2 lab into fusion into T3. I, I kind of just want to play on the front. I'm not going to lie. Kind of just want to start up here and do the very most. Oh, these guys, these these cheeky buggers, they've got something going on. I'm going to spawn over here with them. We've got little civilizations, right? We've got the Western, the Western Westeros, and then we've got like the, the concrete uh, cemented fortress of Erechim. And we've got the high towers of Piltover over here on the right-hand side. Air zone. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, the inner Kenny Loggins just absolutely tore its way out of me. That was uh that was involuntary. I apologize. I apologize, YouTube. I didn't mean to offend you and your copyright issues. Try and hand Commander Riker a little bit of metal. Whenever possible. Charge! <laughs> For liberty! <laughs> uh, this is so dumb. I'm gonna build a solar panel here so at least there's a little bit of energy production. Don't need a tremendous amount, but we just need a little bit. Build a radar to bliss. Whosoever happens to be over in that direction. If you mindn't. It's not like there's D guns. I don't know what I'm protecting this thing from. <laughs> we lose a guy there? That's not good. Oh, help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. There we go. Yes. LLT battle. LLT battle. Help me out, help me out. Yeah, me and Wake and Bake got this. There we go. I can start up another one. Extreme LLT battles. Just preparing those bad boys. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Help me out, help me out, help me out. Nice. Oh, 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 don't stand in the way. You'll, you'll feed him experience, which is the really most important part. An allied commander has died. Oh, Stinger, no. Oh, no. Why? Why, Stringer, why?
An allied commander self-destructed. The LLT forests are thick. There we go. I think Air we pushed far enough. Spotted. I think we definitely pushed far enough. Now we just need a whole bunch of rocket bots. This barrage up on the front is great too. It'll be very annoying for them to deal with. An allied commander self-destructed. Rockets. Oh no 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 An allied commander has died. Oh, they... Unhappy with what's going on over here. Also, they've got a lot of units. Low power. How is this still coming up? Guys. There was... There was supposed to be one fusion reactor. Oh, we are so far behind right now. We're actually so Team incalculably far behind detected. right now. Oh no. Not good. Trotsky's going for it. From downtown. <laughs> I don't know if giving them all that metal is really going to be a good thing. Like, they're they're going to be just fine. I don't know, man. Let's help the rocket bots keep going at the very least. I'm, I'm so scared that there's no units here. I think we need to pump out. I think we just need to push a whole hell of a lot harder. Because the fact that there's no units here tells me that they've ecoed on this side. Like, all of their eco is over here. So if we push this really hard, I think we might have a winning chance. A really good winning chance. Wow. That was a great shot from that thing. An allied commander has died. The thing is, rocket bots are just so insanely good. Nice. Lost a bunch of rocket bots. That's fine. Who's actually producing this? Wake and bake? Where are you? There you are. There you go. You can have all my metal. An allied you commander has Just keep making rocket died. bots. An allied commander has died. An allied take commander two. has died. Why are so- oh. Oh no. Lead they were so much quicker lost. than us. Oh, we don't even have the T3 up. Oh no, this is- this is atrocious. We've lost. We've lost the good fight. GG. GG. <laughs> it really is just who knows how to eco up properly and who doesn't. It, uh, there, there's so many commanders standing around here that should have been turned into metal, and we don't have a T3 lab up at all. Womp womp womp. Radar lost. We were too slow. You're on an eight minute timer. Oh, Joshy going for the play of the game right here. Oh, no. He's going for it. He's going long. An allied commander has died. 
<laughs> uh, D3 lab isn't even up yet. My goodness. Pretty tough. Pretty tough. You don't know what you're doing in the eco line. It'll get you. It'll get you. You gotta remember, we start with 32 grand in the bank right now. All of it should go into producing a T3 gantry as soon as possible. Maybe like 6k or so. They had T3 at the 4 minutes. Commander has died. Oh yeah, that's true. We did do that 32 versus 32. You're right. You're so right. I forgot about that. Yeah, because we did the 64 player map. Oh, you're so you're so right. We should play that map again. That was so fun. GG. Karganath beat us. Alright. <laughs> Appreciate the Karganath. We're a little we're a little late on the draw here though. GG. Yep. That's what uh, that's what ten players worth of eco looks like. The uh, thing has broken quite significantly over here. <laughs> Everybody's extremely large now. GG. Took the most damage. How on earth did I take the most damage? That's bizarre. No clue how I took the most damage. Yes. Yes. 32 versus 32 on this map is about to be absurd. Uh, there is one option I have to enable, though, if we're going to play this, is the extra units pack. I find that the extra units pack allows for stalemates to be broken a whole lot quicker. Um, and what is the meme to clear? Meme undo. There we go. I don't know why it added a... What the hell happened here? <laughs> what did it what did it just do? I have no idea. Oh well. Uh extra units pack enabled. Legion enabled. Uh release candidates. No, we don't need those. Restrictions no. Resources. Resources. 1.5. Apply. Alright, I think we're good. Oh, it's it's this thing. Okay, hold on. We have to. I think we have to do this. We have to hit apply right now. And then we have to turn on Legion. B set experimental extra units zero. And then you have to do all over again to one. And then you have to do B set experimental legion faction zero and then do all the way up to one again okay uh yes i think we're good i hope we're good i'm gonna i'm gonna turn this to one real quick just to make sure that this changes properly as well you just never know you never know all right Ready on up. Did your faction rank to zero? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're I think we're good. I don't know what those tweak units is. Or tweak tweak definitions. I don't know what that tweak defs is. Hopefully it works. We'll see. My goodness, we still have 18 people in the queue. Uh, I'm gonna have a ring. Hold on. Ring, ring. Hello there. No, the no rush is turned off. I don't know why it says turn to zero. That was something about the way that the meme, meme undo works. El Chapo Jr., I'm going to give you a count to five, and then you're out of here. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoop. Oh, he readied up right as I clicked it. Oh, that's so tough. Poor fella got put in the back of the line right there. What a bummer. Right as soon as I clicked the button. What a tremendous bummer. Well, luckily, he'll be on top of it next time. He'll be on top of it next time. <laughs> Probably next 10k Discord number. We can't go above 32 versus 32. Why are you setting arbitrary limits? I don't believe in that. I say we go to 50 versus 50. 100 versus 100. What's the unit cap? What's the natural unit cap? 2,000 versus 2,000. 
Uh, oh, I, ah, okay, hold on. This might break everybody's game. This is gonna, this is gonna absolutely demolish a bunch of people's game. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. A lot of people are gonna be quite upset at me. There we go. Sorry. Sorry. I know. I just did that whole thing. I just, it was that whole thing. It was that whole thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm changing it so that everybody has a spawn spot. This map is perfect for 32 versus 32 because you get literally the same, uh, or everybody gets one spawn location. So it's, it's excellent. But also, uh, I didn't have the boxes set properly. So that one's on me. I know. Brightworks forcing the lobby simulator. I know. I know. I'm sorry. That one's on me. Brightworks Gaming 100 versus 100. Yeah, that's the idea. I say 1 million versus 1 million. See these servers try and handle me. Ain't no way. <laughs> A 2,000 versus 2,000 would allow 7 or 8 units per person. Oh, perfect. That's perfect, yeah. Whatever, whatever the number is so that you only get your commander. So it's literally just a big-ass commander duel. <laughs> I'm going to rename the lobby because I feel like the Brightworks Survivors is not an appropriate name anymore. The Brightworks Super Stream. There we go. Are we all ready? Are we all set? Zach says, yo, what the hell? Preparing to launch. We need a second. There we go. Oh, I get real nervous. I get real nervous on these games. <laughs> Only approximately 254 teams is max. The engine doesn't allow for that many teams. Oh, I see. Those damn engine limitations. Always getting us. I'm going to spawn right here. I have found my spot. Nope, you're free to play whatever you want. I wonder why you'd ask that instead of just checking. Just click the little box. Anyway. <laughs> curious. How curious. That's a great idea, busting here. Uh, so everybody spawn on your platform. Everyone on a platform to start Plix. <laughs> Everybody on a platform. Get out of there, classic. Move. The, the no rush is turned off. No rush zero means it's turned off. Too bad. Too bad. Everyone to a platform. Or you will not play. I'm, I'm counting on the red team to do the same thing. Be the hero we need. <laughs> all right, are we ready? Is everybody ready? I hope the red team's all on their platforms or I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be pissed. You don't like me when I'm angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. All right. Time to go. Time to go, 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 go. If you do a scuttle rush, I'll sub. Uh, yeah, no. Well, uh, wait. Yeah, Legion does have a scuttle. But, uh, I'm, I'm morally opposed to the scuttle rush, unfortunately, Sollies. Appreciate it, though. <laughs> Appreciate the consideration, anyway. Uh, how's wind speed on this map? Looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty good to me. Thank you, Commander Riker. Appreciate it.
This is why I'm pretty much convinced that I have the best community in all the realm. Is that I can ask for things like that and people actually do it. I'm not toxic about it. Just saying. Just saying. Overflowing metal right now. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's line this up because my OCD tells me I should. Even though it has no strategic benefit whatsoever. Oh, it's all mech spots. <laughs> Joshi just unlocked unlimited power. The power of the sun in the palm of my hand. This guy. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Four point eight. I could have swore this said it was gonna make more. No, I guess not. Weird. I don't know what I was thinking. You're overflowing metal. These guys help out over here. Energy production is stalling. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. He's only produced 1.5. Kinda sad. Kinda not epic. Let's build this guy real quick. Why's my delay 30 seconds? We can pause for a second. Yeah, we're lagging pretty bad. Unfortunately, that's uh, probably just the price we pay for doing this. <laughs> Just one of those things, I guess. There go, put this down. Low power. Drain our energy immediately. I know, they're three Aircraft by three. Ah, uh, you know what? I can't do it. I can't in good conscience do it. Whoa! That's not really what I want. There we go. <laughs> Wasn't exactly what I wanted either, but we take those. Go, just start building all these. Should be quite good. Love the big wind turbines. Some of my favorites, if you ask me. Easy 250 wind. Very cool. Detected. Build 20 of these.
Rattlesnake OP. Oh, that was the energy converters. Very nice. Why were there energy converters, though? <laughs> Wait a second. Why on earth were there energy converters? Who's building energy converters right now? You know it's all metal, right? Rotate your building before placement? That's weird. Rotation is for the weak. Never rotate, never surrender. <laughs> Air transport detected. Nice. Nice little air scout. Very cool, very good to see. Why are you like this? Why are you running? Nuclear bomber very good, detected. very good. Shun nuclear bomber, very epic. Very awesome. You're overflowing metal. Am I? Am I really overflowing metal? Tell it to the judge. Eighteen second Aphis, pretty epic. Whatever these guys are working on should be top priority for sure. Still receiving so much metal is just overflow from other teammates. <laughs> ah, love it. Come on. Yeah, wind wind is just plummeted right now. Metal. Absolutely tragic. Let's build one more of these guys. Works pretty good. Um, all right, Epic Gardens, go. Go, my cargo knots. So it's quite the T1 economy you're building here. You know you can go T2, Mr. Uh, Larbino. T2 is well T2 within bounds. Is ready. Love the mine layer bombers. They're so cheeky. I love mine layer bombers. They're actually so fun because you can completely coat an area in landmines and just uh, have a tremendous time. It really is lovely.
Nuclear bomber detected. DC. EMP missile silo detected. There we go. Two three unit detected. Titan really? detected. You're telling me they went for T three units? This is unbelievable. Well, typically no rush means that there's you, you can't leave your spawn box. You can't issue commands outside your spawn box. However, no rush is disabled. You might also notice, which has the effect of turning that off. You might, you might one say. This is classic, right? Let's hand that over. Yes, this is war on a galactic scale, and it's beautiful. Bring onto them justice unlike anything ever seen before. You and your brother. <laughs> ah, it's beautiful. They're beautiful. Oh, Commander Riker's commander was uh, hanging out right there. Oh well. We did a good thing. There's the nuclear bomber. Oh, shields. Womp, womp, womp. Nuclear bomber. <laughs> ah, those things are brutal. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna hand all of this over to Classic. So that may chance he rebuild. Give me the fellow. Show me what I want. allowed? I mean, it's allowed. <laughs> Build her up. Oh, man, those nuclear bombers. Absolutely brutal. <laughs> it's just impossible to kill them before they hit the front line. Oh my goodness. They're doing so much work. Immediately the game speed has plummeted, by the way. Pretty hilariously. It's 
a lot of spiders you got there, and they're not marching. Oh my god, the nuclear bombers are absurd. They're so absurd. <laughs> oh my goodness. feel like I need some immediately. Glass their world. Turn it to slag and ruin. Damn you, commanders! And your ability to ruin my be beautiful plans. Just, just continues nuking. Oh, oh no, that went all the way into the back. Oh my goodness! Wow, that is brutal. Those uh, those nuclear bombers, huh? They're they're tough cookies. Difficult to stop. <laughs> Yikes. I feel like you're getting targeted too. <laughs> I feel like the answer is you are absolutely getting targeted. You've received new units. Give me your stuff. the Amexes. Always good, always good. Let's do a full map patrol command for these guys. There's an enemy, oh that is an enemy dragon, oh no. Oh no. D guns. Hope he cloaks and D guns. Oh, 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 oh! Huge, huge D gun. Massive. Still died, but massive play. That was hilarious. What a hero. Nice. Long range anti air missiles. OP. Doing the very mostest. Hectic immediately. <laughs> oh, those nuclear bombers are something else. They do not care, not one bit. The behemoth sentries will stand guard. Oh, Medusa looking pretty good. Ravaging that T3. Epic recluse looking absolutely horrendous. 
Don't know what went wrong in the design of that one, but somehow they made a thing that's less powerful than the basic unit. Entering missile silo detected. Come on, boys. Win your fights, win your trades. Yes. Yes. The behemoth off. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. This could be huge. I don't even know where those are coming from. Somebody got a star fall up. Oh, there it is. Impossible to stop before they end up firing. Oh my god. How oh, the rocket spiders, though. Making a beautiful guest appearance. Not looking bad. Not looking bad whatsoever. Who wins? Epic Karg or Epic... Ooh, Epic Karg wins. Okay. Not the response I was expecting, actually. Not gonna lie. Oh, I think my game just crashed. <laughs> ah. Spring has crashed. Access violation. A stack trace has been written. Aha. Uh -huh. Well. <laughs> uh, yikes. Another hack spam account in the Discord? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How did this happen? Oh, it was hidden. It was auto-moderated. Thank goodness. Can you guys still see it? It should have been auto-moderated. It looks like it was. What? Where did this take me? Sorry. I know this is not the viewing experience you were hoping for. Um, kick that person. God, that's so disgusting, those accounts, dude. Delete message. Um, anyways. <laughs> Restarting bar. Sorry about that. A little bit of, a little bit of, uh, shenanigans. Did the whole lobby crash, or was it just me? Did the whole thing break? Oh no. No, it was- it was- it was just me. I'll try and rejoin. I have no idea what's gonna happen, though. <laughs> I have a feeling it's probably not gonna work. Yeah, please do not click those links. I know all of you are smart, and you're not going to click those links, but, uh, please, especially, just in case you were thinking about it. There we go. Ban. I was looking for a ban, not a kick. Anyways. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, let me let me know if you can still see it. Hopefully it goes away.
checking through all the different channels. Man, those spam accounts are annoying. Auto moderator did not work as I was hoping it would. Can you guys see the game now? Low okay, power. there we go. You guys sit here and enjoy this recap. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try and fix this moderator and see what happens. Everybody crashed? Oh, okay, so it wasn't just me. T2 unit ah. detected. Delicious. I think it's... I think it's gone. I think the issue has been resolved. Let me know if you still see anything. Feel free to at me about that. People suck. Yeah, well... Nuclear bomber detected. I know you guys don't suck, but uh, most people do. Like, not, not most people, the average person does. <laughs> uh, what does that mean for us? It means uh, thank you for letting me know every time one of those bots shows up. And uh, please never click on their link, because it's always never something you want to be dabbling with. It's always a scam, but also likely malicious in other ways as well, as far as, like, putting you on other lists to be scammed in the future, or, you know, so far as even trying to upload something onto your computer. Gotta be careful about that stuff. What's the lobby looking like? This is gonna be a minute. <laughs> this is gonna be a good long minute. You know, this is a good opportunity to set up a moderator, isn't it? <laughs> Block suspected spam content. sure do love moderating. <laughs> uh, annoying. Okay. Hopefully that thing, hopefully the auto mod catches those in time. going to work at fast speed given the CPU slowdown. No, not at all. You can see the fast speed is 1x one, one gameplay. <laughs> and yeah, I probably will crash again. We'll see though. Oh wow, look at this lobby. 50 players on one team. Oh no. <laughs> uh, is anybody still in the game? Like, is anybody actually still playing? I wonder if anybody's still actually playing the game right now or not. Oh, it changes. This reward aims to give the slot a more specialized role for disabling specific targets while being less efficient as a defensive option against groups. Units metal and energy costs are doubled. Build power costs increased by 50%. Health increased by 30%. Paralyzed time increased from 10 to 26. Bomb count reduced from 5 to 3. AOE reduced from... Oh, interesting. 
changes I guess dumped you as well yeah 1x is a lie it sort of seems a little faster than 1x <laughs> man those nuclear bombers are satisfying huh up at almost the same speed the battle is progressing. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Flo, is there any way you can force stop this? Stop the battle from happening? Hey, can you just some really technical point? I want to read this. You, you can catching up faster than in compare with the normal game because simulation and rendering share the same pipeline. So game allocates more into simulation, but you get really low FPS. Ah, I see. So you always catch up faster because it always allocates more to catching up than to whatever the actual simulation of the real game is. Or the current game or whatever, you know what I mean. That's pretty interesting. Nuclear bombers are so massive. They they cannot be shot down in time, at least it, before they hit the front line, just because of how gargantuan they are and how far away they can shoot from. Don't force stop. I mean, okay, if the, ma is, is the battle is still going on, I just want confirmation that the battle is still actually happening. I have no idea how this server stayed alive at all. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we are catching up. <laughs> okay, 26 minutes, 42 seconds. That's how far we have to go. I don't know how my computer is in a blaze of steel and aluminum by now, but I'm sure that thing's sweating overtime, trying desperately. I didn't realize glitches were snipers, that's pretty funny. Can I just say, the Starfall has got to be one of my favorite weapons in the game. It's, it's just so beautiful. It really is. An absolute work of art. <laughs> Blew up so many metal extractors there. My goodness. That thing is devastating. Yeah, I completely crashed. I completely crashed Baltic Pig. It wasn't even like I... I like, it was a full-blown Windows notified me type crash. It was crazy. Haven't had a crash like that beyond all reason in a good long minute. Seriously been forever. I was, I was genuinely surprised. I feel like these spiders should fire three volleys of the exact amount of rockets that they fire right now. Doesn't that make sense? Like, they should, be, you know, that's what the recluse does. It fires a big volley. Oh. <laughs> ah, so it crashed at exactly the same spot. That's funny. Yeah. A stack trace has been written to uh, something something. Spring has crashed access violation. Oh, interesting. It reached outside of memory. Hmm. Hmm, quite interesting. Quite interesting. Well, I'll hit OK. See what happens. Let me see here. My computer has given up, yeah. <laughs> 
Um, huh. Well. What do we do about that? Spring failed with code blank blank blank. For support, please upload log and share it with us on Discord. Yeah, what a uh, what a fun what a fun one. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm impressed the server stayed up. Oh, not replay. Sorry, I'm I'm impressed the server stayed up. That's that's pretty wild that it actually managed to do that. But I don't think we're ever getting back into this. Oh, you are not connected to the server. Please wait thirty seconds while we manually reconnect you. Um, I see. I see," said the blind man to the deaf dog. I'm sorry. Did I break the servers again? I tend to do this. I tend to break the servers. It's true. I did say a full naval battle would be cool to see. Oh, sorry. I did not mean to join your game. Silly, easy settings co-op versus noobs AI. Uh, let's see. I was looking for the Brightworks lobby. There it is. Is it over? I think it's over. I think it's finally over. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, we gotta, we gotta end this vote. Oh, I'm not in command anymore, am I? Oh no. Ah, this is gonna take an eternity. Please end your vote, Grizzly. For the love of God. Okay, I'd love to salvage this lobby, uh, hopefully. Yeah, that's the idea, Dan Dinks. Grizzly, please. If you're out there, Grizzly. <sighs> this is what happens. This is what happens. Hey, moderators. Hey, Flo and AKU. Uh, can I get like a limited moderator privilege so that I can take can I take control of a lobby like this? <laughs> would that be possible? Can I get like a, a very limited form of mod admin that would allow me to commandeer a lobby if I need to? I feel like uh, I feel like it'd be pretty easy for people to distinguish that I've taken control of a lobby. Did that work? I don't think that worked. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Flo. That helps. That's way easier. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. We we clearly we clearly can't have the extra units back on. I suspect that was what caused the issue. No guarantees. But I suspect that's what caused the issue. Well, let's change the map up. We're going to do all that glitters. We're going to do it top to bottom. We're going to change this up to 35. That sounds about good. Yeah. Yeah. 35 uh, and then we're gonna do advanced options and we're gonna flood it we're gonna flood it uh, let me which factions no 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 shield type override deflect everything we did want to do that and we wanted to do where is the one to raise the water level hmm. extras oh yeah here it is let's do uh, 250 All right. I think we're good. Flood it. Flood it. Hopefully this works. <laughs> we'll see. Who knows? Who knows at this point? We are on the boundary of what is and is not possible. How do you add title energy? It's 20 by default. Uh, I don't know if it's 20 by default, but... Let me see. There is a way to add title energy. I saw it. I think it's list B set. Yeah, list users, list names, H settings, B settings. Uh, B settings map. Is it just list settings? Nope, that didn't work. Oh, yeah, it did. There we go. 
Uh, all right, yeah, let's see. Uh, title speed, A, B, C, add bot and B, add block balance, add map preset, da, 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 auto stop, balance mode, clan mode. Hmm. There is supposed to be a way. You need to teach Brightworks the setting for FFA where everyone can pick anywhere to start. I listen, I've I've heard of this game mode and I saw I saw a game of it being played. It's just not what I want to do on stream, okay? Okay. <laughs> I appreciate the enthusiasm though. I really do. I want to be very clear that I appreciate appreciate the enthusiasm. Uh, man, what is the is it list settings all? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> list settings Oh, there we go. Oh, I think this is right. Yeah. Um, ban list A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. Should be over here. Hmm. I think it's. Hold on, let me try something. B set title. Hi. Ah. B set list. Ah, no, no. How do, <laughs> how do you list the B settings? Ah, okay. B set map underscore title. Hi. There we go. Thank you. Finally, finally, we're in. Everybody ready? I think everybody's ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think it's about time. Oh, never mind. Never mind. There we go. Phew. It's a close one. A real close one. You ever plan on doing R Nutty Raptor game? Oh, I love Nutty Raptors, actually. I, uh, yeah, I have, I, have, I have tons of fun playing Nutty Raptors. The problem is I just don't know uh, how I want to translate that to playing on the live stream. Maybe we'll do it someday, though. We'll do some, some Nutty Raptors one day or another. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> yeah, this is Vinaja's, Vinaja's calling. Finally, the pirate can take to the seas. Yeah, let's allocate a communism Please corner. Choose your starting location. Tommy Corner. Come on, everybody. If you're in the commie corner, then you gotta commie up. I don't know where I wanna fight at. Hmm. R slash hmm. Slightly damp glitters. Yeah, glitters, but it rained recently. I'll go right over here. This looks like a good spot. Surely. Three hundred FPS now. Jeez, share some with the rest of us, please. They're hogging all the FPS. First time playing on stream. Always love liquid glitters. Thanks for hosting. Whoop, 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 whoop. I need like air. I need like air horns and, and sirens and whatnot. To, I need it. I need it on a button. <laughs> Oh wait, this rank rank shouldn't be enabled. Oh dear lord. Uh, no, rank is not enabled. Thank God. <laughs> I was a little worried there for a second. All right, for start, go. Yeah, I was a little worried there for a second. I definitely don't want. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't want ranked enabled so that people are gaining and or losing OS for this. I wonder how it would even calculate it. It, it would be it would be bizarre because this thing would try and balance out between all the like millions of people and then also try and figure out like how much should the lowest rank three true skill player gain against the cumulative 400 open skill of the other team <laughs> it would be absolutely absurd um and so i think it's probably best that we keep it turned off yeah probably gonna be best Uh, 
I've heard uh, herring into frigate is a pretty good comp. So say the wise man. The wise man of the weast. Oh yeah, you're right. Can't put a metal extractor down right there. Weird. Is... wait, is... Oh, no rush is on. <laughs> wait, what the hell? No rush is turned off, but no rush is turned on. Um, no rush is being buggy. Well, alrighty then. Yeah, this is uh this is no rush, but very strange that this happened. I'm not sure not sure why exactly. You have to do I believe it's three in distance. But I like to do four because for obvious reasons it makes it a little bit better. Well, that should make this a nice, uncomplicated T2 battle. Surely. My goodness, have you got enough pings? You know, we never build these. Why not? It's not a... well, it's just not supposed to be on, but it totally is. And uh, I don't know what to do about that. I mean, I guess there's nothing to do about it. I'll fix it after this game, but until then, I guess we could enjoy a uh, no-rush naval game. <laughs> I believe it's five minutes. I think at five min, no-rush should drop. like weird that it happened but it is what it is hmm will be pretty interesting <laughs> I wonder what they're gonna hit us with right off the rip could be anything. Pedal speed is 23, though. It's definitely pretty high. Build some energy storages. I think they'll be useful. Surely. Can our T2 backline just go ahead and upgrade everybody's metal extractors? I feel like that would just be a phenomenal gift to everybody, is if they just went and upgraded everybody's metal extractors. Looks like there's some problems in the backline here. Somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody's mad. Everybody's always mad. Can you finish this boat, please? Just real quick. The gates have opened. Charge!
Dun 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 T2 air. Well, technically I think those are not T2 air, they're uh T1.5. Seaplane gunships. Down their missiles. An allied commander self destructed. Um, I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that was an accident. Hope it was an accident because otherwise, that was uh, that's, that's bannable right there, my friend. I'm guessing that was an accident though. Navy. Cool, they do have some submariners. Bun da 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 dun dun da da dun dun da da dun 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 Single torpedo launcher ravaging our economies. Oh no. submarines all over the place. Catch this destroyer, that'd be nice. Put some serious hurt on it. Getting complicated. Getting real complicated. Let's go like this. You've received new units. Bird eater? Oh boy. Time to eat some meat, eat, 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 be some birds. It's a hard sentence, okay? Leave me alone. All right. Yep. Fight that destroyer. Production. Ever onward. Uh, torpedo gunships or something. Some sort of gunships. Oh, bird are coming in handy. Very cool. Very cool. T2 unit detected. Vanage is getting more boats. That bastard. How is he so good at getting those boats? You've received new units. You've received new units. An allied commander has died. 
Allied commander self-destructed. Metal extractor lost. Gosh, submarines, man. I'm on. It's horrible. Why is he so good in the water? And how did he get all these submarines? Paused. Huh? Battle started. What? What is this? Get this guy out of here. Can we get this guy out of here? This flame brulette guy? All right, hold on. Let me let me obliterate this guy. Uh, flame, flame, flame. Kick ban. There we go. Yeah, he's already he just got kick banned. Don't worry about it. Uh, was he on our team? I think so, huh? What an annoying person. So you really think that's the best way to conduct that? <laughs> Battle started. What a what a weird ideology. I don't know how you could come into my lobby and think that you can do that and won't get obliterated for it. I really don't. You gotta be a special case. You really do. <laughs> you made e-converters all over and, well, that's fine. I mean, you guys, flow is literally, yeah. Flow is literally in the game. Uh, so it's not gonna take long to ban that poor fool. <laughs> not gonna take long whatsoever. Was this the guy? Has died. I, bet, I think that was the guy. You've received new units. I wonder all my units aren't goddamn producing. It's because all my build power is gone. <laughs> uh, what a pain. Did, so, like, so there was some sort of disruption in the back line? I don't know. Can anybody explain in the chat what exactly just happened? Because I'm so lost. Some sort of some sort of bar protester. <laughs> glad glad we have those now. That's gonna be great. Why am I being handed these hovercraft? Placed energy converter and loads of bases and control D. Oh, okay. So like he went and messed up everybody's economy. Okay. Well, Flo, if you're still there, uh, I think you're still in the lobby, right? Yeah. If you're still there, I mean, can you span that guy? Send him to the shadow realm. Appreciate it. Whole loaded dolphins coming up. What the hell? An ah. allied commander self-destructed. Well, that's not great. Ooh, that's not great. Can't lie. Those dolphins went on a tear. fine though we're fine though surely yeah surely F there we go
He said something about protesting a ban. That's hilarious. That's hilarious to protest a ban by getting yourself banned over and over. <laughs> you gotta be a special kind of character in order to be going after that sort of a reputation here. At least you have the good decency to apologize for being disruptive, as if that helps. <laughs> oh well, whatever. I'm good with just forgetting about that poor fellow. I'm going to latch these onto this uh, battleship here. In fact, I think that's just what my role is going to be. I think I'm just going to pump out a bunch of res subs. found my purpose. My glorious purpose. I will be the res subber. Uh, wait, no, that's in front of somebody's lab. <laughs> Finding space here is very difficult. Repair. Yep, yep, yep. Coming in for the repo. Repair micro, that's what that stands for, not the repossession. Eat up all these. Constantly producing these boats. I have accepted my new role. This guy, this guy, okay, never mind. Get out of there. No, they're res, res subs. Those should be my res subs. Turning out juicy, juicy metal like that. Pair of these guys. Hey, everybody, get patched up. This is the repair zone. Welcome to the Brightworks Spa. How's your day? Yeah, he's known. Ah, okay. Well, better a known terrorist than an unknown terrorist, I suppose. <laughs> Weird thing to say on the internet, but I guess that's the opinion I have. Not entirely sure. <laughs> There's a bunch of submarines here that were causing issues. those subs for me. That'd be just dandy. Metal extractor lost. We lost it all. Enemy flagship detected. Just 
kill me with artillery? How on earth? How on earth? Send four of the res subs. Continue res subbing. Submarines don't leave behind very much wreckage. But what they don't leave behind in wreckage, they do leave behind in, uh, you know, good vibes. <laughs> We're just going to be the cleanup crew and make sure that the T2 forces have as much chutzpah behind them as they need. go. Continue feeding metal back to the entire team. I'm doing my part. I feel like the guys in Marvel that like clean up all the destructed buildings and everything. All the obliterated facilities and everything. That's what I feel like right now. I've been working cleanup crew for 65 years. <laughs> been doing this my whole life. It's my purpose and it's my calling. Battleships whenever possible. Metal extractor lost. Just keep sending metal back. Nuclear bomber detected. No, oh, they've got capital ships. And the capital ships can hit my res sub somehow. The water's not deep enough. Dear God. We need a radar jammer boat. Yeah, we need jammer boats. Yep, I agree. I guess I could go T2, but it doesn't feel like I'd be able to get it up in time. They have two capital ships barraging me at this point. Who has a T2 lab back here? We, we are having crazy logistics issues. I think we might be cooked. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, I think we might be cooked. This looks absolutely unstoppable. By virtually all measures and across all platforms, this appears to be the single-handed most unstoppable push known to mankind. Period. End of argument. What a mess. <laughs> what an economic nightmare over here. Send the bright man to the dark void, yar. <laughs> this is one hell of a void. Wow. What a GG. Disassemble them. Disassemble them from the depths. Yeah. <laughs> GG to the red team. Well played. Well played indeed. Where's my Nostradamus at, right? I can give you a little Nostradamus. I've got a Nostradamus in me. Well, that guy ruined the game. Yeah, that was kind of a bummer. Kind of ruined the... Uh, 
ruined the vibe there for a minute. I mean, not my vibe. Ruined, uh, ruined the vibe of... I mean, I don't even know. He didn't really ruin anything. <laughs> he just, he just blew up our own game, which is like, uh, you know. What was his name? I, I want to, I want to remember what that guy's name was. Gru, banned for not building naval flagship and pond on Isthmus. Gru, best defense ever. What? I don't know what it, I don't know what his name was. I'm sure I'll be spamming our discords or something soon as well. Anywho, moving on from whatever that was. <laughs> um, let's see. I want to go back to it. You know the one. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Is that a good uh, Stallone? Breach, unjust ban, we detect. Oh, wow, look at that. Flame, frame brulante, yeah. Yeah, they're they're protesting unfair bans. Who on earth? Why do they think there's fairness here? What 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 part of what part of this whole system that they're playing part in makes them think that this is a fair system that they get to be a part of? They understand that they don't have any, like. They don't give anything up to play bar and be a part of the community, right? The, the the admins of Beyond Our Reason could ban literally anyone for literally any reason. And it would be quote unquote fair because it's not like there's... It, it, <laughs> you're not paying taxes. Nobody's paying taxes. It's just dumb. That's just so dumb. You have got to be a psychopath to think that that's... To think that you're owed the rights. Double metal forge, please. Uh, all right. All right, fine. All right, just because I love you guys so much, we'll do a double metal forge. Well, we're not going to double metal, actually, but we'll do uh, we'll do forge on 1.5 metal. 1.5 is plenty, trust me. It's not a democracy here. You don't get to vote. It's like when people come into my lobbies and they're like, Ah, uh, you know, we should we should vote on this or we should vote on that. Hey, that's unfair that Brightworks is controlling everything. You're right. You're right. Password is W A M G Boss C W. So are they oh I see. So are they trying to like take over lobbies by passwording it and then bossing or something? Interesting. Really interesting. Oh, water level. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> ah, that would have been pretty funny. Everybody spawn in and the water level is up a million. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be pretty funny. Uh, okay, hold on. I need to I need to fix the no rush time. Um, no rush. Hold on. How do I... I forget how I do this again. Oh, this is always so hard. So, hold on. We need to turn no rush time. We need to turn no rush off, but how do I do that? Restrictions. Wait, what is... How is there a no rush, but I don't... Am I missing it? Am I missing something here? Scavengers, resources, extras. No rush time of zero, I guess? Huh. I don't know. Something weird. Maybe just reset settings. Yeah, it could be. Is there a good way to do that? Flow, AKU, do either of you guys know how to how to reset the settings? Maybe if I do team preset. Oh! Damn. <laughs> that wasn't what I wanted to do at all. Oh. Ah. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, huh. Well, I just sent everybody to the Shadow Realms. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't the right idea. Big-ass facepalm on my behalf. 
Sorry, Flo. I have to make you do it all over again. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Donkey is probably fair. It's probably fair. Uh... Yeah, Bright works in his own queue, right? That's my punishment. I deserve this punishment for being an absolute donkey. Acting like a baboon. My mind has been absolutely scrambled. Yeah, poor Flo. Overworked as always. I'm sorry. My bad. Yeah, I know. Everybody got kind of screwed over by that guy obliterating people's bases and whatnot. Can I tell you how wild it is to protest in a video game? That's a, that's a hilarious thing to do. <laughs> there are people dying in wars right now. There are people, there are people giving their lives to protect their, their countries and their beliefs. And there are people fighting in other countries over the oil that they want to have. And you're sitting here protesting in a video game over somebody getting banned? Come on. Priorities, people. Priorities. Think about the children. Somebody got banned and beyond all reason and they don't enjoy that? Dear God, the atrocities. Flo, I want to take a second, a real serious second, to thank you for putting up with my shenanigans and encouraging them, really, if anything. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, the bright work significantly appreciates you. You need to buy Flo some sweets as a sorry. Yeah, for real, I really do. I owe I owe Flo a whole bunch of them. I owe I, I have like a bunch of IOUs stacked up for Flo. Okay, are we good? I think we're back. Yeah, we're back to where we were. Okay, thank you, Flo. Thank you, Flo. Everybody say thank you. First and foremost, uh, restrictions, ranked game, off, extra, no, experimental, legion faction, on, resources, 1.5, metal extraction, multiplier, and apply. Beautiful. Now we can go to forge. This lobby looks way more stable. I'm just going to put it out there. I think we are in a better spot after having done that. All, all said and done, like that was a, you know, that was a, that was a long process. I think it was for the better. Let's do 40? Yeah, 40 will work. Right? Yes. Yes. 40 will work. Flow is from the Netherlands, huh? Is that where Loco TV is from? I think that's where Loco TV is from. Loco TV is like my idol, by the way, in case anybody's curious. Absolutely the guy that I wish that I was. Guys, awesome. Uh, all right, everybody ready? Are you ready? Are you set? Go, go, go! Oh, womp, womp. Womp, 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 womp. Hashtag leave if you care about Vanaja Party except me. <laughs> okay. Treading on thin ice there, Jamacus. We already banned somebody for posting something loud and obnoxious today. Gotta be real careful. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. I can't get over that, dude. I can't get over how atrocious that is to try and protest in a video game. You gotta be a you gotta be a crazy MF. I have selected my spot and I'm a greedy, greedy boy. They call me Greedworks. The way I be greeting on this beat. Greedo morph. Greedo morph. Wait a second. Isn't Greedo the? Hold on. Hold on. Isn't Greedo the? The guy. The Star Wars. Yes. 
Yes, Greedo is the Star Wars. <laughs> he's the green Star Wars dude. Maybe that's not very clear. He's the he's the guy, he's the Han Solo shot him first guy. It's like Greedo. Greedo, I know Greedo. That there's the Greedo morph. Yeehaw. I'm gonna go full-blown aerial shenanigans. Super shenanigans. I'm gonna do kind of a late game aerial shenanigans push though. Hopefully we can hold out long enough that I can get my, my setup up and running. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda gonna abandon my team here a little bit. I don't want to, and I'm not doing it out of spite or hate. I'm doing it out of because I think I can make a pretty funny play happen. Hmm. You guys want some some uh ASMR clips? Here's some ice chewing. Mmm. Delicious. Terrible for your teeth. Absolutely terrible for your teeth. I don't know why we just get cut. Flo just banned all of us. We're all done. Is it time? I think it's time. For start. Go, go, go! I know, I'm abandoning all of you. I believe in you, though. If there's one person who believes in this team, it's the brightest works you ever did seen. It rhymes, so you know it's true. Oh, I guess, uh, Shir Shiri Krin is gonna be joining us today. Alright. One of the things I love about Legion is that because their uh, metal extractors give you a little bit of energy, it means you can build your triple mech setup pretty quick. I'm okay with sharing a single metal extractor. For the boys. Just stop oil? Yeah. Egg him. Attention, attention. Just stop oil. It's that easy. You've received new units. Oh, thank you. I wasn't sure if uh, Shir Shuriken is gonna... Shurikern? Shri- Shrikorn. Shri- Shrikorn. Shri- like a tricorner hat. I wasn't sure if he was gonna help or if he's just gonna eco on his own, but I think it looks like we're gonna be working together here. I think we're working together now. I think we're pals. Best pals. Yippee. All right. I do appreciate it. Here, you can actually have some of these back. Shrikin. There we go. I appreciate it. Appreciate it greatly. Those were a tremendous help. And now, I have all the energy I could ever want. In a world of pure imagination. Start taking this lab down. Because the superpower of the Legion faction is that they can go for these bad boys, the overcharged mexes. Which are pretty great. In case you don't know, they produce two times the metal, so we should be getting four. But also, we have 1.5 metal, so should be getting even more so than that. Pretty epic. Which means we can go crazy with the beat. Low power. And also you can afford really expensive economy too. Like for instance a bunch of advanced solar panels. Because you get so much more metal. So see yeah, we're gonna get six metal per second here. Which is, you know, not like 
tremendous, but it is pretty epic. Two unit detected. This guy an upgraded max as well here, and we'll be in a pretty good spot. Okay, now we need a couple of these. Come over here and build a couple energy converters, and we'll be rock solid. Three hundred and seventy metal a piece. It's not bad. Uh, where do I want to put this? Why am I having such a hard time deciding? All right. And we'll just set the commander to work over there. These guys will latch on here. We'll make two of these Juno bombers. Because I think they're pretty good. And uh, we'll we'll take a take a take a little Juno bomber for a spin. I believe these take a good long while to recharge, so we'll just wait a second. I didn't. Why didn't. Hello? <laughs> Why? Why not did you work? Anyway. An allied commander <laughs> self awkward. destructed. Totally awkward sauce. The lobber army. <laughs> They're so funny. Their little lobber nose. Working out pretty good. Low power. Commander self destructed. Ah, shot me down. Shoot me down, Zeus. You don't have the balls. Dissolve a significant portion of those. Always nice. Try and get a juicy connection over here as well. I think we might be able to, yeah. Go, oh, very nice. Yeah, these things are pretty solid. They're not gonna set any world records, but they're pretty good. An allied commander self-destructed. Really weaken that agitator, so hopefully that goes down. Yeah, very nice. Sweet. The lines are broken. Weaken all those guys quite a lot as well. 
And it's time we go into one of these. It's a 10 minute, oh no, it isn't 10 minutes yet. We're a little ahead of the curve here, that's fine. I wish he'd built that a little closer so I could help with the build power. Oh well. Oh well. Smith Commander over here. Where's my Resbot? Resbot died? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that. I thought Resbot was just hanging out in the back line. He must have been sniped by something. Something evil. Every villain is lemons. The bombing could have been better. Certainly could have been better. At the end of the world, could have been better though. I always underestimate how much damage those do until they actually collide with something, and then I overestimate it. <laughs> Which sounds absolutely ridiculous, but it is the truth. This needs to be a Cerberus immediately. In fact, so immediately that I think I'm gonna make it a Cerberus. I'm gonna go start it up anyways. Yeah, I can start one. Aircraft spotted. Spy and Holy Brian trying desperately to hold the lines. An allied commander self destructed. Let's go for these guys instead, actually. the D2 air can help. I'm not sure though. Low power. Oh, lost my T2. Ah. Ah. Bummer. An allied commander has died. Oh no. And it's a good T3 too, not a Shiva. Oh no. Yikes. Definitely yikes. Eat, eat, eat. Build, build, build. An 
Allied commander has died. A Carganethian hero. <laughs> the little resbots that could. Oh, Carganeth saved the day. Team is in desperate need of me. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pivot. I'm gonna pivot. This is called being flexible. And 65 metal apiece, so they're not terribly expensive to build these. Tactical missile launcher detected. Unpivoting. Z, C. There we go. This down. Mine's down over here, so hopefully, if anybody pushes forward, it won't obliterate us. Karganeth with the anti air for the win! <laughs> oh my goodness, that was close. Extremely close call. You're overflowing metal. I am. We'll spend it then. Oh, there's the bombers. Oh, there's the bombers. You know, funny thing about going air is that I sure didn't. Luckily, my neighbor did. I don't even want to look at those bombers. <laughs> uh, I told you I was abandoning my team, didn't I? Definitely called that one correctly. That's right, T2 fighters will surely be up in time here. The reason I rushed so hard to T2 is because T1 Legionnaire does not do anything. Uh, yeah. Um, unfortunately, it meant that I didn't have any airplanes. It's not ideal. Well, let's try and do the best we can. At the end of the day, isn't that all you can do? as many forces down south there as we can. Air transport detected. Oh, dragons already. Ah, they were so much better prepared than I was. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I absolutely slacked this game. I definitely could have done so much more and didn't. And that one's on me. That one's really on me. I needed to stay more focused. I was so unfocused. Are you kidding me? Is this guy? 
battle started. Frostbite chills. It's been removed already. This is unacceptable, dude. Battle started. You've received new units. Battle started. Unacceptable, dude. Battle paused. What is happening? The community R has detected unjustified mod action. This will not be tolerated. Grew, grew, grew. Yeah, who do they think they're talking to? Yeah, I, I kicked him. He's been banned. Uh, did he sabotage you guys? Hold on. Did he sabotage you guys? <sighs> Put me in a real weird spot here where I can't continue playing these games. I can't continue hosting these great events for everybody that if people started. are going to keep fucking around with them. Uh, that's a real awkward spot I'm in right now because I don't, I can't, I can't keep inviting people to have these awesome games and then uh, have you know trolls showing up and doing this sort of shit. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. I'll ban them every single time, but I don't think that's enough. Yeah, <laughs> might have evened it up a little bit. True. Why did I... Oh, I just inherited T.A. Joe's base over here? Okay. Wait, no I didn't. We're just very similar color. <laughs> uh, I'm so frustrated, dude. What am I- what am I to do? I mean, I can't, like, detect who this guy is, right? Obviously, you can just go make more fake accounts every single time. Hmm. Not fun, not a fun situation to be in here. Yeah, I hate to exclude the noobs, but you've got a good point. Like, that's 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 one of the only ways to verify that it's not a brand spanking new account, is just limiting it by Chevron. Uh, how annoying. How terribly, terribly annoying. I guess that's what we'll have to do. Shaking my head. There's nothing nothing the devs can do about it either. Like, what are they gonna do? Remove the free to pay or free to play game? <laughs> like obviously it's one of the best parts about Beyond All Reason is the fact that you don't have to pay anything up front to join. But that's also the reason why this is possible, right? Blocklists don't really work either because they're just gonna, you know, they're just gonna keep uh, making new accounts all the time. Commando. I don't know, man. Commandos drop it in. <laughs> uh, Try to have a good good attitude about all this. Why am I receiving new units? Is somebody with an energy shortage here. How about Sir Arthur? Detected. An allied commander has died. An allied commander has died. Radar lost. 
fast. I think this game is pretty well over. I am, uh, I'm tired of dealing with whatever that was. These are light mines, right? Yeah. They do virtually nothing, but it is funny. One percent damage lost. per second. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> Yeah, their backline's definitely participating. Here's the thing. Uh, I want to end this game pretty much immediately because I feel really bad for the red team. Feel bad that they had to deal with that. I uh, I don't know what to I don't know what to do. I'm racking my brain for a solution right now, but uh, I can't come up with it. I'm only playing here out of like respect for my team, but this game is over and I'm I'm mentally exhausted trying to figure out what I can actually do to alleviate that issue. I pretty much always vehemently believe that protests virtually never work. Like they they essentially only annoy people and like the like the, you know like protests in the street like shutting down road roadways and whatnot virtually never work. The the only kind of protest that ever works is uh, boycotting, like not buying a product. Never give up, bro. <laughs> Damn right. This guy's a real hero. Boycotting is the one thing that I think has ever had any effect and insti insinuated any sort of change whatsoever. Not to get all, like, political or whatever, but, uh... I think they should definitely take that approach. Ooh, the anti nuke missed right there. Okay. Definitely hit a base. That's cool. <laughs> There's always trolls, but this is different. This is this is more than trolling. This is like some sort of... I mean, I don't know if it's one person or like an organized group of people, but either way, it's just dumb. But the fact that it's dumb doesn't mean that it's not a problem, right? You get my point there? Overflowing metal. Overflowing metal. I need five APHIS in order to get the economy up and running. For what I want. I don't think I'm quite there yet. Maybe I can squeeze away with it on four, though. Cloak, 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 cloak. Nice. Good cloak. Good cloak. An allied commander has died. Ooh, and spy. Humongous play right there. Has died. Sir Arthur Court, uncloaked. Not phenom. Uh, 12 seconds. I don't think I have it. Shiva coming in. Yeah, I tried. I tried to just greet as hard as I could and hope that it could work, but it didn't. It didn't work. Womp womp moment for sure. The final stand. To find them and in the darkness bind them. <laughs> ah. An allied commander has died. Well, we were losing before they got sabotaged. They already had a tremendous advantage. Ha ha ha. 
<laughs> I have no constructors or anything left. Oh wait, yeah, I do. I do. An allied commander has died. Stealthy units detected. No. Bombers, my only weakness. <laughs> Look at these things cook these carcanets though. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Didn't have time to get enough anti-air up. I'm just waiting anyway. You guys did fabulously on the front line. You guys held for a good long while. This game's just been over for a good long while. I'm so tired, man. I'm so tired of that thing. I'm, uh, it's just peeved me off so badly. Tactical missile launcher detected. Read through chat. Rip mood. Yeah, I know. Sro got it exactly right. Rip mood. They have what they call a manifesto on their Discord. Oh, that's so cringe, dude. Using the word manifesto in the Lord's year 2024. Yeesh. Jolly Bean's got the right idea. Ignore them and move on. I can't have them disrupting stream, though. And that's the thing, is if they wanted to be more malicious, they could ruin the stream in worse ways, right? Like, they could start coming in here and saying slurs or something. And it, it would be... Then, then they're threatening me personally. And then I have to take some sort of action against it. That's what I'm worried about, more so. Like, if they're just going around yelling in lobbies, like, you can just ban them and it's fine. <sighs> but, I'm, but it's the fact that they had the audacity to come into this lobby and do it. If they had done it in any other lobby, you know, it would have been fine. But they came into my lobby, and that's where they drew the line. That's where they crossed the line, rather. Um, no, I think we'll keep playing. Ice Scree Gare Ice Lord. Where is this person? Where is he? I'm trying to... Trying to find it. Good job, everyone. Oh, he left once the vote started. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Are we... I think we're slowly shrinking in number here. Uh, yeah, everybody rotate out if you would. I'd appreciate it. Hit the fat, rotate. Tau? Well, we could do Tau. Haven't played this map in forever. Looks like a lot of people haven't played this map in forever. Good idea. How annoying. Yep, rotate out. We no longer have, uh, we no longer have flow here, so the lobby's gonna shrink. Don't make me do it. You're gonna make me do it, huh? All right. No problem, Classic. Hope you enjoyed. One chevron and a British flag and we uh, eliminate you. Oh, obliterate you.
Yeah, sorry about everybody else who fits that. <laughs> it's a good point. It's a damn good point. All right, we need one more person to leave. Yeah, I know they're all they're they're taking this game way too seriously. All right, we'll start it here. They protested protested Jam getting banned for the R word. Well, listen, Jam's Jam's a friend around here, but he deserved the ban. Like, there's no. <laughs> it's just how it is. Giving them giving them zero attention is the ideal solution, but just not just not how it works, unfortunately. 1776 all over again. Kind of. Kind of, except not really. <laughs> kind of, except with like way less importance. Some weird drama, man. Some weird, weird drama. Probably should have extended the boxes here a little bit. Now that I be thinks about it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. I feel like playing Oh, never mind. Chipperman's gonna play there. Dox is gonna play there. Oh, is Vinaja here? Oh Vinaja isn't here, thank God. Alright. I'll play in the sea then. <laughs> uh, Vinaja's here, I'm terrified. Yeah, I know. I know. I know what you're saying, Flo. I just uh, I, I want to give everybody a chance to rotate in, even though we even though we lose the player count. I appreciate it. Don't you worry. Even if we even if we got to rotate people out and we lose the player count, I'd rather I'd rather everybody gets a chance to play. Must we'll see. Yeah, I had to check that Vanaja wasn't here before doing anything. <laughs> Snack von Pess playing from the Snev the, the Sneven Seas the Seven Seas I'm just keeping an eye out I'm keeping an eye out for the uh, the no good doers see you later Reitz thanks for tuning in hanging out playing around having fun All right, everybody ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, Flo had to go, so whenever whenever Flo leaves, he has to set the lobby back to eight versus eight. So it's slowly gonna rotate down back to eight versus eight, which is fine. We had our fun. Third eye definitely open right now. What does that even mean? What are you talking about? Please, babe, please, just one coherent sentence. I'm begging you. Did you guys watch Dune 2? Let me tell you, if there's one thing I appreciate about Dune 2, it's some good old-fashioned Gregorian chanting. You guys a fan of Gregorian chanting? Love me some good Gregorian chanting. You gotta get really deep into your lower register to pull it off. But it is so satisfying. Nothing quite like a good Gregorian chant. Why is the lobby small? Uh, I don't know. A 26 player queue is probably not what I would consider small. <laughs> I mean, at least above average, right? It's gotta be. Hey, thanks for the gate or thanks for the donation, Jamakus. Appreciate it. OP stream, TY for the games. You're very welcome, my friend. Hope you had a good time. Despite the situation. I wanted to play Big Lobby. Well, you're a little too slow on the draw, my friend. You're gonna have to come back next time, this Saturday, for the very next live stream. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I don't know why I did the McDonald's right there. Let's see how this goes, though. Wind speed, phenomenal. Absolutely, those guys are putting in the work. 
love to see it. I feel like I should put these on key two, maybe. Low power. I have a really hard time controlling Navy, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty it's pretty tricky for me. Man, title speed. Womp womp. One day this game will be able to hun handle 100 versus 100. Even our PCs can't. Uh, or even if our PCs can't, yeah. It's a 10v10 with 30 specs, right? <laughs> you could say everybody want everybody and their mother wants to get in on this. Probably be fair. Let's just see if that cue works. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. See if these guys roll out. I mean, yeah, we're gonna have a great time. Already ripping and roaring over here, my goodness. Okay. Oh, hey, that's your that's your prerogative. Glad you figured that out, man. Died. Those missile boats are a little slower on the draw. Low power. Keep doing this constantly. Let's just put these back on hockey group one. <laughs> it's too confusing. For my small brain. My small chimpanzee brain. Make five gunboats real quick. Two unit detected. Something like that. See if we can do a little bit of damage. Start building this guy. We've been caught. We've been had, gentlemen. Split. Divert. Damn. They got us. They got us real good.
come up in a minute. We'll see. destroyer, two frigates, and like three res subs. Got a lot of repair boats. Or repair, uh, what are they called? Construction towers. Ah, those destroyers do impulse? That's crazy. That is crazy. thing is, I just don't know exactly how I'm supposed to shape my army here. Should it be frigates in the front and destroyers in the back? Just don't know. I guess destroyers to the front makes sense. I should use this thing. Make a nice formation. <laughs> Surely this ought to work. Surely. construction turrets, man. That is a full army of destroyers. Not that. Not that button. Oh, 
think this is a pretty good fight right here. I would say. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, no. That was not ideal. Yikes. Not what I meant to do right there. Oh, got him. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we were pushing on all fronts and it just made sense. Very nice. Is there a T2 lab building over here? I wonder if we were going T2. Because it didn't feel like there was a lot of units built up right there, but it definitely felt, uh... Definitely felt like we were starting to lose... It felt like the unit production was slowing down. Maybe I'm wrong about that, though. Oh, we were kind of neck and neck. Yeah, I think, I think that's a T2 spike right there, though. Whoa, that was very close. That came very, very close. Gregorians, a new faction in Dune 2. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know about the, uh... The Gregorian faction. <laughs> That's just how it goes. I don't know what to tell you. I love a, I love a good Gregorian chant. Let's see. What other maps have we not touched today? I feel like there's a lot of maps we play over and over again, but maybe we should take a look at some of the maps that we don't. Hmm. Why don't we give Center Rock Remake a run for its money? I've heard that this map is Imba, but I don't know exactly why. Can anybody explain or elaborate? See you later, is bad. Sorry, you probably already hit it off. Thanks a ton for hanging out. Need to move the weekend stream to Sunday just for the Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. No, because I want everybody to be able to stay up late. <laughs> if I move it to Sunday, everybody's going to go to bed for work. Pink air player top left gun shipped five bases. There was several nails in the blue team's coffin last game. Oh, yeah, I just completely missed it. Well done, top left pink air player. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, time to rotate out, by the way. If you played last one, time to rotate. If you played last one, rotate to spec. What on earth? Sounds like a plane is going down outside. My goodness. Let's see here. Who was a part of the last game? Uh, 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 this is tricky. Tricky for me to see. Try my best. Oh, is it only... Oh, there we go. So the team says to eight. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. Should let a couple more people in there. Let's see. Greedomorph was in. Let's see. Adenot. Do if you hear her name, you gotta rotate out. Adenot, Dox, Tim, uh, Akula. Who is that? Seven seven one five seven th. Uh, Jipperman, Natemo, Potato, Tawasimer, Sneed, Greedomorph, Tyron, Space Doge Man, Felmon, Carbon, Arthur X, uh, T A Joe, Zax, and Thanat. Any of those? Any of those still in here? Felmon, uh, for spec, Superman, for spec, Arthur X, for spec, T.A. Joe, the X, Tau Awesomer, whoops, oh yeah, yeah, Zax was in there, for spec, Making me, making me do this by hand is such an, so annoying, you guys. Come on now. Pick it up. Pick it up. Sneed. Uh, yep, you got a spec as well. We're doing, we're doing one round of rotation. Uh, oh, the welcome message probably got cleared. We're doing one round, then you rotate to spec. Let's see. Anybody else? I think we pretty much got everybody. Alright. Let's give it a try. I don't know. I don't know if this map is Imba. I don't think so. <laughs> it doesn't look terribly imbalanced. Like, maybe the starting boxes are, like, a tiny bit off. Could be the, could be the thing. Not sure if that's, like, a... Not sure if that's like a crazy problem. Grizzly, you uh, ready there? Let's give you a ring. 
five, four, three, two, one. Womp, womp. Get on out of here. Plenty of people in the queue to replace you. Oh, Fragnarok. Oh, Fragnarok. Oh, no. Oh, don't tell me you went through the whole spectator queue just to get put in, and finally, at long last, you make it into the game, only to be spectated here. Give me a ring. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, that sucks. That definitely sucks. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Oh, yeah, there he goes. All right, well, to the end of the line he goes. Alakazam. Oh, oh, no. All right, for spec you two. Is anybody actually here? Violet Viper. Ah, there we go. Violet Viper. Gonna be our uh, pull of the day here. Willy and Aeon Spy versus me and Vanaja. This will be a tricky one. This will be a tricky one. Oh, no, we don't need to... That's okay. That's okay. Uh, preparing to launch game. There we go. There we go. I definitely didn't win last game. <laughs> I just kind of... I just kind of uh, kept, you know... Kept pushing on the naval sector until eventually it was overwhelming. How on earth does this work? So there's a spot up here where you want me the lobby. That's hilarious. Uh, Dinks, why don't you go right on up on the front here? You can you can spawn anywhere up on the front you so choose. Spawns seem relatively balanced to me. I mean, this one looks like it's maybe a hair further forward than this one. I don't know if that's imbalanced, though. I, I almost think the answer is probably not. I'm going to go Legion, and I'm going to book it. Because we got eight people, so you're welcome to go anywhere. No, it's definitely not eight spawns. <laughs> it's not. We're going to need some people to run. Yeah, we're going to need some people to run around up there. We're going to need some people to run down south here. We need people running all over the place. Big disgrace. Running yourself all over the place. Have there been ads to this stream? Oh, hold on. I forgot to ask about that. <laughs> I probably should have tried to remember. Uh, last stream, I did like, I did, I let YouTube put the ads in automatically, and it didn't do anything. Like, there was no revenue, it didn't change anything. So I just took about again, because I was like, I'm not going to show ads to people if I'm not going to get substantially paid for it. So hopefully, you haven't seen very many ads this time. Actually, theoretically, there should be no ads. Anyway, for start. There we go. Did that? Wait, that didn't work? Oh. <laughs> Start has one A in it. So why the extra long stream, Bright? Uh, I don't know, I just felt like it. Felt like doing a little bit something, something extra. We usually call it, and usually when I call it, there's still like a hundred or so people left in the stream. And it feels like, uh, you know, why not, why not give those people another chance? No complaints, trust me, just curious. Yeah, fair enough. In all, in all truth, in all seriousness, there wasn't like a legitimate reason, I just felt like doing a long stream today. No ads so far, no ads to the stream, sweet. Okay. Couldn't say because I use ad blocker. Yeah, there's always one. There's always one guy. <laughs> what do you think? Is the longer stream worth it? Because why not? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure a lot of people appreciate it. I know that there's a lot of folks that are from the Europe's and the not America's side of the world that are uh, getting up and are not getting up, going down, going to bed. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a work day, so that makes sense. But uh, I figure there's probably some American, maybe uh, Eastern European friends who still want to hang out a little longer. So I figure there's still a crowd. Heck, I'm down to party all night. Hell yeah. That's the strategy. That's the we maneuver. New units. Can vehicles go down this little bay right here? Shared three tech. Okay. 
One of these goes up here. The other two run over. Wait. Oh, yeah. It is imbalanced. Hold on. Look at these two metal extractor spots versus these two metal extractor spots. I see. I see what the imba is. Weird. That's a really strange imbalance. Huh. The more you know. What do I want Aircraft to do here? Spotted. Ah. So indecisive. Build these. Alright, not bad. Oh, an aircon. Who's got a fighter? Somebody shoot down that air constructor. Uh, 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 fumbling the hotkeys. Fumbling the hotkeys. Be the title of my obituary. How many of these do you think you need before you start producing enough to one shot things? Don't know the answer. Really? A little multi prong, eh? It's beautiful. It's pretty annoying, egg roll. It's pretty annoying. I'm gonna need some help from my teammates pretty much immediately. <laughs> God damn it. It's so annoying. What a good play. What is this little thing coming up? Thank you for the save there, teammate. Appreciate it. Appreciate it quite a lot. This is a weird play I'm going for. One of the map gadgets is broken, it looks like. What does that mean? What on earth does that even mean? this up here. Stop. Stop, Commander. Stop it. Stop it right there. It's 
build this thing as quick as we can. ASAP. Normally I never ever detected. say that these are a good investment. This is a rare this is a rare exempt rare exemption. New units. Shared some car keynotes. Oh. Very cool. Gunslinger? Oh my goodness, it is. It is a gunslinger. What on earth? Tell me they rushed T2. They rushed T2 without even telling me. Shaking my head. That's gunslinger. Didn't know I had jukes though, did ya? Didn't know I had jukes though. <laughs> jukes will not matter for too much longer though, unfortunately. I don't have any more anything, pretty much. Just in the nick of time right there. Precious wind turbines. I'm, I'm in such a bad position right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I certainly tried my best. When you try your best and you don't succeed, something, 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 something. Alright, well, I could use a constructor if anybody's got any spares. That'd be pretty epic, I think. Koyasalo, going for something cheeky over here, it would look like. It would do to a beer. New units. Thank you. An allied commander has died. You've received new units. Thank you. Oh, nice pull over there. Yeah, I think you win that. I think you absolutely win that. Nice. Yeah, that was a real good push right there. Very efficient. This map got so dark all of a sudden. Oh, there's like a weather cycle. I just realized there's like weather happening. <laughs> Ah, uh, Thule in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Gotta cloak that commander. You better cloak him. K. K, Thule. K. K is in cloak. Ooh. Not ideal. Not ideal, unfortunately. I won't lie to you, they have so much metal from all of our commander wreckages right now that if we don't win in the next 10 minutes, uh, sorry, the next 4 minutes, maybe even the next 2 minutes, we are cooked. Cooked beyond belief. I don't have any metal. Oh no. It's a tragedy. 155. My goodness. It will be enough, just barely.
air transport detected. Point six metal per second. It's not the best, I'm not gonna lie. Well, thank you. That helps quite a lot. I'm up to a solid one metal per second. <laughs> I guess this is a lesson on how to recover an economy uh, from the absolute ground zero. It's just slow and steady. Wow. Wind speed, not kind to us right now. Definitely not kind to us. This is a good push, but uh, we do have full T2 coming out, though. Yeah, I like what Vinage is doing in the back line. Definitely getting ready for a game here. This might be the poorest I've ever been. <laughs> this might be the absolute poorest I've ever been. We're gonna see how this goes. I think, I mean, 91% efficiency. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That early gunslinger was so brutal. What a really marvelous play. Banaj needs spy bots down south there immediately. Uh, there's so much going on. They have such a huge tech lead. Holding the middle of the map too was extremely important. Because the metal extractors are 1.5x, means that getting these metal extractors Banana early was Commander super, super important for them. Oh, how is that commander still alive? No shot, right? He's got to be on 1% HP. Oh my goodness. Oh, wind speed is high. More than enough. We can make four metal per second. Well, that wind speed really is quite high. Something like that. So we're constantly improving. Oh no. I was too slow. I was too slow. This is a tragedy. This is a tragedy of the greatest scale. Down goes our economy. <laughs> our humble economy. Womp womp. It's crazy what a hundred pawns will do. I think we're cooked. I won't lie to you, I think we're cooked. in the chat trying to catch up in the chat is this the last game everyone keeps asking that i keep wondering if we should call it or not <laughs> uh red reality says i checked out that protesters discord link just a bunch of upset people that got banned saying that mods don't ban their friends and how life isn't fair uh correct why would a mod ban their friend and also life isn't fair <laughs> Congratulations! You made it past 
Preliminary Thinking 101. I'm so proud of you. GG. GG from me anyways. I think I can call it resign. This map is called uh, Center Rock Remake. And I did spy the imbalance. Everyone, ever, somebody warned me that this map was imbalanced, and I, I figured it out. It's right here. You see these mexes are right next to each other. So you can spawn right here and grab both those mexes and then start your lab versus this one. The mexes are all the way spread apart for some reason. Don't encourage them. Encourage you. Encourage the crybabies. <laughs> I don't- I don't know what- I don't know what they expect to happen. 91 kill gunslinger, my god. That is a hero right there. This was the- this was the original gunslinger, wasn't it? Yeah. That- that gunslinger single-handedly defeated us. <laughs> that was the gunslinger of all time. All right, I think that is what we're going to call it for today. It looks like everybody's dropping off. Everybody's getting tired of going to bed. I appreciate everybody for coming out today. It was a uh, bit of a weird one, and we definitely have some issues to work out as far as how to keep the chats clear of protesters, apparently. Um, not a sentence I ever thought I'd have to say, but there we go. <laughs> uh, did losing the middle make all the difference? Absolutely, losing the middle made all the difference. Um, I couldn't hold this high ground because I was eventually cut off by two different people. My cannon didn't come up in time and I didn't have enough units and eventually it all kind of went to hell. Thanks a ton everybody for playing today. I am absolutely exhausted from the extra couple of hours that we played. So I'm going to go ahead and probably go lay down for about an hour. But thanks a ton anyways and I will see you guys in whatever the next thing is.